yes, 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 we got to light it up. It We've it got to light, light it, it up. up. You yeah. got to <laughs> see that we're ready to <laughs> light it up. Yes, bitches! Oh my god, thank you for, so much for the sub, guys. We're already hype train is coming through. Oh my god, look! Can we see? Can we please give it up for Bryce Quinlan over here? Oh my god! Oh me? my god! Look at this bitch oh over god. here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Through love, all is possible! Oh my god! Well, I certainly don't want to kiss you. So uh, well, just continue to guard me, I guess. Um, thank you, because I will say I did have a husband that came in and was like, "Oh, you look so good. I like the tattoo on your head." And I said, "It's a slave relic, goddammit. it!" Yeah, that was really uncalled for. Very I mean, uncalled I hope that for. He's upset. Very uncalled for that he's saying these things about Hunt Ap Applar Curd Girl. Thank you. That Hunt is servant cut. <laughs> and I appreciate you, Curd Girl, because More I like know Cunt Hathalar. Oh, oh God, cunt, you're right. Cunt, I man. am Cunt Hathalar. Oh. Thank you. I'm feeling really good as him. I don't know if you can tell the sweat is out yeah. and it is real. Woo. And I am feeling it. And if this starts to sweat off, I should just let Hunt know maybe he should be sweating more. And it will come off. Right? And it'll come off and he won't be a slave anymore and he won't have to kill. I will for say we scary anymore. In this nether realm, I would say maybe this might be hell. It's hot in here. Yeah, yeah. hot so, in. So hot in here. But just, we uh, look great doing it. And that's what <laughs> again, people pay for this glow. You right. know I use snail muse and it's not like I didn't muse up right before this. You didn't I know I usually didn't you're digging out but in front of the studio <laughs> looking for snails in the dirt before it is. I'm dropping them all off, all their little fucking little snail dicks. You can just buy it in the store. What? I thought I gotta squeeze it out some of them! Oh. Yes, thank you. I did put on jeans for this. I'm wearing um, my yes. husband's jeans for this. And he's got a tiny little butt, so my ass crack is hanging out the back. But you ain't gonna see it! And you know what else? Hunt's a short king. Yeah, babe! You want me? You want me? You want my wings that are falling off already? Yeah. Oh no, my wings Don't are wiggle too falling hard. off. Well, maybe that's because they've been cut off. Oh no, you guys, I hope you've read the, the pre-chapter for tonight because we're gonna talk about it. Everyone's read it, right? The bon or the, not the bonus chapter, the prologue in the chapter one that's now on Sarah J. Mass's website. We're talking about the prologue, we're talking about chapter one. I will say we are going to discuss it this evening. So mm -hmm. if you haven't read it, you might wanna pause it, come back to this, it's going to be up on the Twitch. We are going to be spoiling things. All just of it. Letting, uh, we're, all of it, we're talking about all of it. As much Except as we can in two hours. Because we can't help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, throwing up glass, we can't help you. And I wanna say thank you guys to all the people that sent in Theories from Throne of Glass, but we're, I just started it. I did, I did start I, it. Oh, you did? I'm and, on book uh, two. So I'm, I'm on my, I had to, I put down Iron Flame to start reading Throne well, of Glass. And I want everyone less, to understand what that means. It's a lot less kissing in Throne of Glass. I know, but I hear it's so good. And honestly, reading all these theories, I was like, well, now I definitely have to read this. Oh, yeah, no, I'm enjoying them. But everybody says you should start, a lot of people say start at the third book, but I'm not going to, I think I already said this on the show, but. I need to read all of them. I know she was a child when she wrote the first two, which again, like I said, kind of glad I didn't hear about her kissing because she was like a teenager at the time. I'm glad that she wasn't like 13 writing about like, and then the pee pee goes in the pee pee. Like, I don't need to hear that. Ugh. I want I want long in depth eat out scenes. That's what we come here for. Were you, you weren't, like you didn't really know what that was at 13, did you? Like. I know you kind of did. I think I kind of did, but I didn't know like all the way into it. I remember uh, like uh, finding out what a blowjob was at a sleepover, probably around like twelve or thirteen. And you went not I, because yeah. the dick was in my mouth, okay. Natalie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because all of a sudden I was like, "What am I doing?" <laughs> That is something that should be discussed in therapy, probably. Yeah, I, yeah. Legal Queen says I would die for Aelin, and I'm uh, between that and is it Rowan? I don't, I, the, the character shift, I, mm, mm. We're not talking about Throne of Glass right now. I can't. We're not talking about Throne of Glass. We're I'm, talking about Akatar. We're talking about, I'm we're talking I'm about Crescent City. I'm constantly trying to not get Throne and of Glass everyone's spoiled. going, OMG, Rowan, Rowan. No, no, I, mean, I don't know who's sorry, good or bad. We don't know who it is. I don't know. We don't know anything know about it. I don't know who's good it. or bad. I know nothing. Bieber Hole says, Jackie would die to have a trauma dump sesh with you. I don't know if you want it, but I know <laughs> you can handle it, and I appreciate that. Mm. So we're here to talk about, we've got, as you guys know, if you've read Crescent City, which I'm assuming that you have, there's a lot. It's a lot. 
we're not gonna be able to do all of it in two hours. Uh, There's so many theories. She has intertwined so much of the world. And like, down to like, just like, throw away sentences that people would be like, but what, remember this sentence? I'm like, I don't remember that sentence, but it has to do with other things. And it's, I lost my mind going down rabbit holes over this weekend. I kind of went a little crazy. Well, you hadn't read them recently. I just reread them, so I have it fresh in my mind. But if you tar turn away from it for a moment, you're not gonna remember any of the characters. There's so many, and we're gonna go over some of them, we're gonna go over some of the plot and all that. Yes. But we're not gonna do it the whole time, because if you're here, you've probably read the books, and if you have it, you're gonna be really confused. And that's fine. If you just wanna see two sweaty women sitting at a table in hell, we're here for that but too. But also it's sexy hell, look at the fog. Yeah, and do you see this beautiful map? We don't even have to have a regular one. Lunathion. It's Lunathion. not here in real life. Don't. And oh also. yes, and we've got the countdown on the screen. Now the countdown, it goes down to midnight Eastern Standard Time. Word on the street is that us on the Pacific Standard Time will receive it in our Kindles at 9 p.m. I don't know if this is true. I don't know. I, don't I put know. up my hands. I hope that it's true. All I know is that after this, I said, Natalie, do not look at me. Do not speak to me. The second this hits, 9 p.m., I will begin to read. And I understand if everybody leaves at the second it shows up in your Kindle. There's no reason to be here. It is only reason to read. Well, I think we're done anyway. So yeah, we're going to end. Out. We're going to end then so that it, it just happens to work out. I'm going to say, to be honest, I'm probably going to wait till I get my hardback tomorrow. I like reading on a paper. Yeah, hardback dick. No, what? That doesn't make any yeah, sense, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, I'm a hot cunt athelaw. Like oh, your dick's a turtle oh. with a shell? Turtle, turtle, turtle. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's, Dana Carvey. Yeah, that's super <laughs> elegant <Hellen -Connie laughs> reference. Uh, yeah, but yes! Well, I do believe All right, that a lot of people are waiting for tomorrow. A lot of people are waiting for the hardback. Yeah. You're not the only one. I get it. I understand. Um, I'm not going to do that, though. I appreciate you and I respect you. I read the, how could you do it? I read the prologue in the oh first chapter God. today and I was just like, I was like, that's it, that's it. I'm so glad I didn't read it on Friday when it came out. Oh I, yeah. I, I would have frothed all weekend. Yeah, no, I, I waited till this morning as well and I'm glad I did because I'm fresh with it and I have a lot of excitement and opinions and things to say about it. Um, and I bet you do too. Uh, oh, I do. Laura says, the content of the stream says I should put on my headphones on before my husband gets home. I don't think he'll understand Con Athelar. Maybe, Maybe this is the time to learn. <laughs> I mean, I, again, I went to the liquor store right before this dress like this, and the woman behind the counter was like, uh, and I was like, oh, I'm, there's this book that's coming out. She went, she made this face at you, she went, Ha 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 ha! I was like, "Yeah." Seen a crown of and thorns? I said, "I said, bitch, give me my wine, wine! I need my wine, wine! I talk to my bitches about my book." <laughs> and then you were escorted out by yeah. The they, they asked guard. me to leave, but they did sell me the wine first, and um, so don't worry, you. I get your wines up. What, what is everybody drinking? Let's talk. Let, I mean, we have to be a little lit for by the time the book comes out. A tiny bit. Deech. Just deech. I like that one glass of wine if I'm going to sit down and read for a long time. Yeah. How about you? Oh, yeah. Have a glass of wine. Yeah. I like it more than, like... I don't do that. I usually read in the morning. I'm lying to you. I lied to everybody. I just lied. <laughs> I never drink with wine. I lie. I drink with coffee instead. Oh, I can't start this off with lies. Well, I guess it's better than you drinking wine in the morning. Or maybe I should start. I mean, today, tomorrow morning's the day. All right. A well, you, what else is anybody doing on a Tuesday? I will say I do record page seven at eight thirty in the morning. Oh, whatever. Or I could start drinking wine and be like, Natalie said I had to. You mean Bryce, your mate? I'm sorry, my mate said that I had to. Yeah. Again, spoiler. All spoilers. Today. Spoiler. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Should we just get into this because I don't know how long any of this is going to take. We have. Two hour, we have an hour and 45 minutes, okay. and we have a lot to say. Okay. Um, Eric, do you want to scoot me over oh to my, God, my yeah, I got a PowerPoint. I hope everybody's excited about it. What? All Natalie right. sent me this today. I was like, girl, we have got 45 hours worth of content. We, yep. I feel like both of us came in being like, we're going to do what we did with Akatar. It's like, but we have two hours to yep. do it. Two hours. And that is just not enough time. Nope. 
So, but it's enough time for a PowerPoint. Oh, it is. And it's a it's a sloppy one, so just Ooh, get ready yeah. some sloppy You know what's going to have a lot of likes. Sloppy pee pee over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Sloppy pee pee. Okay, so I don't know how to begin to summarize this entire series. If you're watching this, as I said, I hope you've at least skimmed the books because you will be confused. Yes, and also this is just a reminder too for people that haven't been able to reread um, that, which because again, there's so much that happens, and I get it. I someone was ta- saying earlier that they watched a recap, and the recap was three hours long. Mm-hmm. It took me an hour and forty five minutes to read the in depth recap of one of the books today. Yeah, but you know we don't need to know every single detail to talk about it today. To- Hey, for sure. never did that. We, don't need to. we can get we, we we can get the overview. Right? Dr. Gibbet says genuinely, what's this about? This is great. Hold on to your butts, Dr. Gibbets, because we're about to find out. Are you just here to just visit? You just I think it's them? great. They just I think it's fun. To know? Maybe they want to get seduced by the world of, of Sarah J. Moss, and isn't that what we're all here for? I mean, this is if anything, this will do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta yeah, yeah. read these books. So Bryce Quinlan is a wild and free party girl who is half human and half a. She lives in a city on a planet called Midgard. The city is Lunathian, which is nicknamed Crescent City and is also the name of the university where Bryce met her crew. Don't we? I know we have to talk about Danica today, but like... mm. Do you say... I say Danica. Does anybody say Danica? I say Danica. Because I feel like you're about to rip their face off if no, they say Danica. No, I'm just saying that's what I think it is. And if you say the other way, it's probably incorrect. All right, Alyssa says I haven't finished book one yet, but I'm here for all the spoilers. And I like where all your right. head's at. Cool. Her core group of friends are, is? Her core group of friends is. Are? Depends. Mm. Depends on what part of the books you're talking about. Danica, a wolf shifter security guard? Kind of? Yeah. Fury. Some kind of veneer assassin. Yes. Juniper, a fawn ballerina. They also hang out with Danica's wolf pack of other 20-somethings, and they're wild and free. How much I want to roll with this crowd so fucking hard. Well, you know what? Okay, so I have, an, I, I, I have a consideration that maybe, I don't know if she's ever said what she's basing Lunathian on, but it reminds me of Philadelphia so much, and maybe that's because I spent part of my time on my sticker. My sticker. Shmia says audiobook says Dan Ica. Dan Ica? There's no. No, that's Dan Ica? silly. That's silly. That's silly. There's no silliness in this. Or maybe it just right. mean maybe just mean Danica. Dan-ica. I don't know. I just I just brought it all to a pause. I can do that whenever I want. It's true. You're like, I bring it all to a crashing halt. Okay. If anybody has ever lived in Philly, is there anything about Lunathian? Lunathian that reminds you of Philadelphia because it feels like the grids are set up the same. It has the same kind of names of the sections of the city. And where they hang out reminds me so much of Philly in different areas of Philly where I used to hang out. And I think, and I know her husband is from outside of Philly and they lived there for a while. I want to know if it's based on it. Because what they're doing at the beginning of the movie, you know, when everything is bad, is what my life was in my 20s. I was doing this. You mean a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of mistakes. Then everyone dies. Okay? Stop! So so we meet an entire cast of characters. I loved that she did this. This was so. I couldn't believe. Like, were you so blown away the first time? Yeah, I was not anticipating that. They they literally introduce you to all these amazing characters and then they fucking kill them all. So, yeah. Right up top! And also, you're getting, you're figuring out everybody's place and you're like okay this is this person all right like, connor then, can we all yes can we pour one out for connor i'm pouring one into my this mouth this is expensive equipment i'm pouring okay. it into my mouth because how hot was connor in your head because he was real fine in mine he was definitely handsome but he's not my type i'm gonna go on let me say that really because it, you don't what you're not into the like like I, fawn, fawning forever. I have to say, I'm not into an Ethan either. It's a, just, just like a sport guy thing. I'm not into it. But they're wolves. I know, but, but they're, they're also like lacrosse players. Yeah. See, in my head, they're more like rugby boys. I mean, that's cool too. And I don't feel like I'm like, ew, yeah, but I just, you know, I don't know, they're not at the top of my list. Oh my God, Jeezy, man, Cotty, Jackie, how do you look 20 years old right now? It's 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 the cunt Athelar. That's it's because of what I'm giving. The contour. Yeah, it's the. I did put a bunch of contour in. I don't know if you could see underneath my neck, and I put it up here. It's slight. I hope that you're gonna start a trend for Zoomers to get a barbed wire tattoo across their forehead. 
I, I think that it would be sad because I every time I see it, I would just be like, I'm sad for your life and whatever you have to do to not be a slave anymore. Yeah, it's true. You're right. Thank you. You want to get him out of there? Oh my God, yes! Lahingle, I'm, I'm here for Rune! Okay, Rune. Oh, buddy, boom, don't worry. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, but then they rip out his... No, we, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We got. Did you read the first chapter yet? Did Bryce goes read from <laughs> Bryce goes from a party girl to quiet employee of Jessica, owner of Griffin Antiquities, which is after all of her friends die. There's a big cut in time, and then suddenly she's just like not doing the party girl thing anymore. She's like, I don't, I can't handle this. All of my friends died. Everybody who's alive is mad at me for some reason. I'm just gonna be this sort of liaison for this. This fucking mommy, love me some Jessica. Oh man, Ta oh, ooh. someone uh, fan casted Charlize Theron as Jessica, and I was like, fuck yes. Yeah, um, and so she's you know just living her life, but then Bryce gets called in to help find the creature who killed all of her friends by the archangel who runs the city of Lunathion, whose name is Michael. Frau Schnitzer says, "LOL, they all fucking died." Yeah. It's yeah. so upsetting. Yeah. It's so upsetting. You immediately love these characters. They're all dead. Yeah, they all die. It's brutal. Um, they all get fucking mutilated, too. They're just like yeah, body like parts. Yeah, like ripped to shreds. Um, she doesn't, so Bryce is not into this, but Micah, because of the. Not into all of her friends dying. No, she I don't was know just why. like, eh. yeah. She's like, talk uh, about happening on Monday. Um, Honestly, yes, Alex Murray, worse than the Red Wedding. Straight up, oh, worse yeah. than the Red Wedding. More, I, I dare I mean, say. The Red Wedding did. I, I mean, it, it blew me away, especially it reading did. the books, having no idea that, that was going to happen after books of falling in love with them. I will throw that out there. But um, I thought that uh, this whole world was going to be with all of these characters. And when you just start a book that you're world building in and then you completely kill all the characters, it's kind of a boss ass move. It is kind of baller. Um, and I love where it goes, but you don't know that's going to happen like whatsoever at the beginning of the book. But now this archangel who is the species in their world that runs everything other than the Asteri, which we'll get into, don't worry, we'll get into. But they are like the top of the, the pile and they run all of the like government and all that stuff. Right. And so Micah is the one who runs Lunathian. He wants Bryce to come in and help them find the creature, which is called a Crystalos. That killed all of her how friends. How are you just talking so easily about Micah? Like, how are you just like, Micah? Because I know what happens to that fucker. I know it gets his come up. It's, <sighs> Natalie, it's you're so good at this. You're so good. I immediately just like, I hate, like, I just want to scream about how much I hate Micah. But I love your, I love your passion. Thank you. Yeah, that's why we're mates. That is why we're mates. So... She doesn't want to, but she's kind of forced into, once uh, an archangel says that you have to do it, you gotta do it. You don't really have a choice. Yeah. So she begin she begins this process by being guarded 24-7 by an angel working for the government named Orion. But he goes by Hunt, aka the Umbra Mortis. Gosh, named, gosh, gosh, I should have brought you gosh. a skeleton mask. Yeah, you should've. Where is ugh? Oh, I need to get you a full body. I'm the Umbra Mortis! Do you think he screams that? It's not As very stealthy. No, if he came and he's great. Umbra Mortis! Oh, you're talking about he was coming. coming inside of me? Oh, I meant as he walks in the door, but I guess also. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not just like, Umbra Mortis. Oh. Umbra Mortis. Wait, oh. is, that, is that him coming or going no, in the door? No, that was him hitting himself and being like, ow, oh, oh, like a shoot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so also yes, Henry Cavill is literally every fucking SJM character. And Tumali uh, says, uh, just talking about Henry Cavill, that Hunt could play Henry Cavill, uh, or Henry Cavill could play Hunt. More like Hunt could play Henry Cavill. God, please. Um, so he's named so for ki his killing abilities and his powerful lightning skills. Yeah! Lightning skills. And oh he, my god, and I was explaining to Jeff right before we left, and I was like, oh my god, he controls lightning, and then he was like, oh, is his father Thor? And I was like. Oh my god. Shut up. Like, no, not next. He's We're not really even getting fucking, to theories he's yet. He's blown it tonight with all of these statements. I know. Made. I was like, it's like you don't know anything about Thor, okay? It's like you don't know anything about Thor. Yeah, it sounds a lot like Thor, okay? It does sound a lot it like Thor. It sounds a lot like Thor, but it's maybe. Not. It's Thor. Okay? It's Thor. And maybe. We've got maybes in chat. And Bryce totally doesn't want to kiss Hunt when he's like, 
sitting outside guard of her her apartment. She's like walking around in her underwear because like she's just being bright. It's not because she like wants to seduce him. Okay. Yeah, she just, just so effortlessly clear. does accidentally. Accidentally, oopsie. Um, so he's a, they call him angels too, right? Is or is Hunt a Malakim? Yeah, he's an angel. Somebody tell me which Malakim? angel he is. Malakim? I forget. I it says Malachim, and then it just says angels. So I don't know if that is the overarching. I think it's a maybe a, a species of angel. Hmm. Somebody get a Sarah on the phone. Board seats is Malachim is the angel race. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, it's a class. Okay. Great. C squared right. says it's a class. I'm sweating my ass off. I have to take my jacket off first. Whoa! Well, <laughs> all right. Light it up, bitch. <sighs> Through love, all things are possible. Yes. All right. Now I'm taking it off. Holy crap. Hell yeah. Here we go. Look at her go. <sighs> oh, my wings are crooked. It's almost like they're just shoved into my my little warrior outfit. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. Not me over here seducing Hunt. I know. Uh, stop taking off your clothes in front of me. Oh, oh my god, so hot. This is what she did. <laughs> this is what she did. <laughs> is that your boner? Yeah, this is my boner. It's my belt boner. <laughs> Very unfortunately, he's coming for you. <laughs> it's a very pointy boner. That is awful. I mean, you get more flies with honey. <laughs> I don't know. If that's Never true. forget. Um, very pointy boner. But no, we're barely into book one. Yes. Okay, we got to go. We're barely okay, into book one. This was the next. My next point, anyway. Antics ensue for thousands of pages. So that is the rough. Overview. Yes. There's a lot of stuff that happens, right? Thank you, Noisito. Legitimately, I don't know how to sum any of this up, but I'd like to say thank Erd for whoever Yaz dot the dot bookish is because truly Ooh. they are doing the mother's work over thank here. Thank you. Thank because you. Because they made a bunch Whoa, of memes. Oh, characters index. So please, big shout out to that content creator. Go yes. check them out. They made complete comprehensive like breakdowns of of the world building of who's connected to who of what happens here of the timelines and this is the character index partial character index of people that you need to know to know what's happening in these books so clearly so, there's so many characters we cannot go over all of them so many characters we, we simply cannot <laughs> It's laughable how much happens in these books. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're watching this after the after the live stream, feel free to pause. Yeah. Just yeah, look yeah, it yeah. over. Yeah. I can't help you. Okay. <laughs> I can't. But here's a couple things. This is the main, obviously, oh, Bryce Quinlan. Oh, oh. Um, She's so hot. Every single She's just so hot. picture I have in here, I've tried to find only things that are tagged with the artist. Please support them. A lot of them have Patreons. I just want to show off the art that, like, really a lot of the art <laughs> makes the book so much more fun Got to read. Got lots of gooshes in chat. Yes. Oh, I bet. Uh, yeah, let's get your goosh up. I mean, if she you guys, is a thick bitch. If you guys are not looking up different artists who are doing art for these books, you have to. It's such a nice supplement to reading the books. Honestly, it's so a great way. Good. That's what you do before your partner gets home from work. Start looking at these pictures. Put on some of that, you know, like the goosh, you know, the goosh juice, like some like warm and goosh juice down there. Start looking at all these. And then you're primed and ready for your partner to be home. Oh, I thought you were saying rub one out before they get home and then just take care no, of it. No, I'm saying yeah. I'm saying share it with them. That's nice. That's very or nice. Or rub one out and have a great time by yourself. Honestly, that also sounds great too. Yeah. There's some good ones out there, I'm telling you. Okay, this is her posse. We got Bryce, we got Danica, or Dan, Dan Ika, Dan as some Ica. people say. Juniper here and Fury. And I've also put up, you see, they become more than friends. Yeah, man. Yeah, they do. I mean, talk about, can we also please, how hot are Fury and Juniper? Amazing. They're, I mean, yeah, everybody's fucking insanely hot. We know. We get I know, it. Right? I'm sorry. I, I'll get past the no, gushing I, I section. Don't, I don't at all. I, I love that every single character is like hotter than the last character. It's my favorite. Yeah. But then see, this is, I've been on a Robin kick. I feel like this is what they're dancing to in the scene. Look at Bryce go. Yeah, man. Thank yeah, let her go. Let her go. <laughs> but you know what this night is? It's the last night they're ever together. <sighs> You're going to. And also, Etumility says, June is the Elaine of Crescent City. No shame. And you're so fucking right. <laughs> the Elaine? 
<laughs> You're so fucking right. Jude was just a baby fawn. I'm just a ballerina. Oh, no, wait. I'm, I'm just oh a my baby. God. Jackie, I just did the thing you did where I thought you were talking about Elaine from Elaine Seinfeld. Elaine from Seinfeld. We are in the middle. We are talking about the books, Natalie. What are you, a me? You she just starts did dancing that. like this. You just literally did this the other day. Okay, yes, I forgot. There is a different Elaine that's not that Elaine. <laughs> because Juniper clearly has slightly better dance skills than Elaine from Yes, Central. yeah, 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 um, yeah. But yes, I do agree. She's a little bit of an Elaine. Don't hate her for it. I actually think Juniper's been cool. Like, I want to see more from Juniper, but I think she's a cool character. Yes. We got, oh, an Adler right there. You know he's jerking off in this picture, right? Okay, there's a, a lot of, I feel like Hunt's actually one of the most differently drawn, whoa, uh, drawn. Can you do that same pose? Oh yeah, you want me to, well I think I have to undo my. <laughs> oh my God, which one's which? <laughs> Here, wait, do you want the hat? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Put your hand on the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not jerking. I'm not jerking. I'm just waiting for Bryce to get home. <laughs> I'm See, not jerking. I feel like this is actually, oh. this is him. <laughs> Put your belt away. This is, I assume this is him seducing Bryce. In this yeah, picture, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I imagine it is. Because this is after now he's been invited in the house. At the beginning of he's the book. He's hanging out. He's on the white couch. We know she's got the oh, white yeah. couch. Yeah. Because in the beginning, he's not allowed in her house, but eventually she's like, I guess you can come in here or whatever. Like, yeah. It's like, you can just like lift you can, your like, shirt up a little bit. stay with me and like, ugh, take care of me. Ugh, ugh yuck. Ugh. Ugh, I'm so not into him. Ugh. Um, so, <laughs> this is one of my favorites of him. And I feel like he's one of the characters that's drawn the most differently. I think there's yes, such a wide there, array. Yeah. And while he's not my top, top guy of any of the books, I love him. I think he's fucking wonderful. Wait a second. Do you not want to bang Hunt Athlar? Of course I want to bang oh, Hunt okay. Athlar. All right, I thought, I was like, I, I don't know if we can continue. No. If you don't want to have sex with Hunt Athlar, like, you're my mate, Natalie. I would, yeah, so I'm not as, as Bryce, of course. And also as Natalie. Okay, Honey Sky Cat, I mean, real, real good question. Who is your top male in all of it, then? Reese. Okay, Reese is forever yeah. your top. This is good to, this, we have to know these things. Yeah. You. Cassian. Oh, totally. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Although I will say I haven't met yeah. all of the, the Throne of Glass people yet. So. I also have I, I, That doesn't include Throne of Glass yet, so I can't include. Um, yeah, we've got lots of Cassians. Um, oh, we've sure. got some Rowans. We've got some Reeses. got some Cassians. Like, and also, uh, a rune up is high yeah. up there for me I was well. assuming it was going to be all runes. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna, it, it, runes pretty high up there as well. So this is them together. I love this one on the left here. This is a great picture when this is like right at the beginning, you know, when he he's still kind of like, he's like she's like I don't care, and he's like oh I hate following this hot girl around. Oh everywhere. yeah, just watching her ass. Like how many times you would just like accidentally look at her ass. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh oh oh. oh. And there's a syrinx, third pet. <laughs> look at those girls. Carby's perfect. Carby looks like syrinx. He does look like syrinx. Just kidding, this is, what? Oh, I, put oh, oh. I had a different price in there. I think I accidentally put her in the wrong place. But here's Rune we'll Dan. Find it. Yeah. So yeah. I assumed this was going to be most people's go to. Really? Yeah. Are, do we not have a bunch of runes? Runes? I mean, it, well, we've got some rune daddy. We've got some rune daddies coming through right now. Again, a lot of the mistakes I made in my 20s looked quite a bit like this. So again, Philly centric. Um, yeah, we've got Honey Sky Cat just in all caps. Rude Dead and Crown Prince of the Valmarian Fae! Yes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Love yeah, him. Yeah. Again, also, he's, spoiler, a twin essentially to Reese on. So. Well, that's it. Curd Girl just said Rune is okay, but he's like an immature Reese. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Mm. Which is also kind of fun because, like, he hasn't learned everything yet. You know what I mean? He's also younger than Reese because yeah. Reese isn't. 500 plus. Yeah. And Rune is seven, 70s, 80s, I Yeah, think? so he's still a beeb. He's just a little baby. Yeah. Um, here's Different, his buddies. Though. We've got... Oh my God, these boys. This is another... I want to hang out with them so badly. They're, I will say, I love... Like, I love Declan. I love Flynn. I love all of them. 
But if I'm gonna choose, and I hate to say this, bat boys v these boys, I'm gonna choose the bat boys. Oh uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Again, I didn't mean to sound so insulting there, everybody. If you're a fan of this group, is they're fine. Declan's you know, the most underrated. I I agree. You're right. I I love it. He's our he's our nerd LGBT representation. Yes, yes. love it. Um, I will say that the friends remind me a little bit of the friends of Logan from Gilmore Girls, where they're just like. They haven't developed them enough yet for me to like really pay attention that much. They're still definitely more side characters, but I bet in this next book that's going to be a lot more about them. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet that. <laughs> and then this is also Ethan, of course. He's another wolf. He's he's uh, Connor's little brother. And I never had a thing for Ethan in my brain either. Mm -hmm. I always wanted I in my brain I wanted Connor, but that's because he's passed. <laughs> he's passed. I can just dream of him now. Is that just is that your New York Italian coming out of you? Yeah, because he's, he's passed. He's, he's passed. passed. <laughs> <laughs> if you whisper it, then it's like he's not dead. Mm. That's what they don't tell you mm. in Queens. Oh, I got it. Um, yeah, not my style, but of course he's gonna be super hot. Yeah, we don't even really talk about it in this, but like I really found it interesting that there was like he saved the mystic at the end of the second book, and we like something's gonna happen. Something's there. gonna happen with that mystic. Mm -hmm. I know we're not talking about theories yet. Um, but yeah, so those are the boys that live in the stinky house. And their stinky little house where they're like making out with fawns. Ooh, yeah. That scene at the beginning of the second book. We've eaten out the fawn. Yeah, I remember. You'd think it would be difficult with the hooves in the way, but you, I guess you just push them hooves right out your face. Push them out of the way. This is also just a picture I love of all of them. Here's a couple extra characters. We got a Therion in there. We got a Hypaxia. Hypaxia is a witch. Therion is a merman. I will throw it out there. Of all of them, Therion is the one I wanted to bang least. And I think it's just because like of like like him and the... Uh, the River Queen's the daughter, daughter and everything. Yeah. Where he's like, I got betrothed to you because I wanted to fuck you and now I'm betrothed to you. And I'm like, oh, that makes me not want to kiss you. Yeah, I mean, like, I would. Thank you, like, Lorette. Okay, I'll say it. Therian is annoying. I, I, yeah, I, I do kind of feel like Therian's not my favorite character. But no. he's flawed in a way that I think is good that, like, somebody's got to be fucking flawed. Yeah, and I also think we're going to see development in his character. But, like, he's being thoroughly punished for his behavior. Mm -hmm. He is mm -hmm. literally a servant to this queen um, who I kind of, like, weirdly, I don't like her. She's not a good per character, like, as a human or as a mer, as a merman. Merman. Uh, but I like the, the character. Merman F. <laughs> yes. Merman F. I live in the sea. I fucking the sea, bitch. Oh, don't put the sea in me. Be I'm not gonna continue. You sure? I could. You wanna? You but I won't. More? Okay. I had a dream. Just another little Therian for there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, I like this image of him. I find that sassy. Ooh, yeah. Oh no, I. Oh, oh, he's sassy. Oh, he's definitely sassy. And not like the cat in Homeward Bound. I like in this image, he's a little, he's got a little femme to him, which I find very I'm sexy. more into that, yes, yeah. for sure. I just like, this is just a couple greatest hits of characters. I'm not going to go through every fucking character. Do you have to understand, the Natalie and I, like, we straight up were just like, how are we going to dress, like, one of the characters from Crescent City? The characters are so fucking amazing and have such cool costumes. I'm so mad that we can't be dressed. I want to dress like the Ripper Queen. Uh, yeah, there's so many. I wanted to be Viper, the um, uh, Viper. Oh my God, the Viper name? Queen. The yeah. Viper Queen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to dress like her, and you did, you were gonna do that too, maybe. But. I know, but then the green we screen, got, you know. It's this is close. We had at our house already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that sad? Is it sad? I don't know. Or I had to buy awesome? a tighter black shirt though to c control my guns. Oh my god! Yeah, I got these guns. They're flappy on purpose. I like them better flappy. I keep them like this. <laughs> I think you're perfect. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Hunt would say that. A couple of great. <laughs> couple of my favorite characters I just pulled up. Also, I love this artist. She has a Patreon. I believe hers is called Clutch, Clutch, Clutch Your Pearls. Ooh, okay. I highly recommend. It is not safe for work. Also, just Mommy, Mommy Jessica. Oh, Jessica. I mean, she Again, looks like Charlize Theron. Theron right yes. Here. Totally. Got to do a little Baxian, Baxian aka the Hellhound. We didn't even know we wanted to kiss Baxian, mm -hmm. and now we want to kiss Baxian. 
Um, also, the mate of Danica. We oh, learned yeah. towards the end of the second oh, book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're mates. He's a double agent. Although it was sad for a while. I remember when I kept reading the second book, and I was like, wait, Pollux is a good one or Baxine is a good one? Pollux I know. is a good one or Baxine is a good one? Because the X, because the, literally the X in their name that I was like, they have both have an X in their name, and I always forget which well, one's a good one. Well, not only that, we learn all of these characters, and then they each have two names. So then it was like, is the Hind the good one? No. What's the other one? The ha the hind to the harpy. The harpy. It's like, yeah. Who's which one? I don't know, man. The H nicknames. Yeah, kind of. But yes. Then I gotta do a little bit of the Viper Queen. You gotta show her. Pop her up there. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. God. But again, uh, look how hot this fit is. Can too. you imagine me as the meat on a Viper Queen and Amarin sandwich? Is all I'm saying. Can Bobs you? everywhere. Yeah, I'm covered Bobs. in mayo, and I'm just like sliding between them both. You're the you're the ham. You're the the, the salami. Yeah, I could be. Yeah, whatever kind of meat they want me to be, I'll be processed. All right, salty. Yeah. All right, I just want to also throw this up here quickly. We don't have to talk through all this, but like this is another one from Yaz the Bookish. Yeah. Holy shit, thank you so much for doing this. Um, shows the breakdown of the different parts of what we know of Midgard so far. Shows all the gates, because the gates are very important God, if you read the books. Are important. And then the breakdown of the houses, which is how the books are being broken down. So we've got the house of many waters awaits us in the future somewhere. Oh, yeah. We're going to get myrrh up in here, but not yet. Was that a pun? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. huh? Just, just myrrh. It's going to be myrrh around, you know? It's going to be myrrh around. If we're, sure. in the, if we're, in the, we're in the water, I guess. We're myrrhing in the water. Yeah, we are. Uh, okay, so. So much overlaps between the. Okay, so where are we at? We're going to the prologue. We're going to where it all has now started for okay. the book. Now we've all had this access to this first couple little bits. Yes. Um, hopefully you've read it. So we start off in the prologue, and we are in a Lydia POV. And Cormac and Rune's dads are in front of the Asteri. I love, well, okay. So what I want to go ahead and say is I appreciated how many theories we got talking about the Autumn King. So many people talking about what the Autumn King is going to be doing in Crescent City 3. You know, we finally have his name. What's I not? I not. I have the notes coming up. It's, it's like, like e e I, Erod, e e e e e Yeah, I've never said it aloud. Can you tell? Uh, I've only seen it in print. Einar. Einar. Einar, Kurt Girl says. Einar. Um, and a lot of people have, like, coming through talking about the fact that, like, is the Autumn King going to step up? In the third book. Is he going to protect Rune? Is he going to protect Bryce? Because I will say he's doing that he's doing that morally gray thing where he never full out goes like, I wanna see her head on a platter in front of me. Right. Like it's always feels like he's a little bit eluding, but is he actually going to do anything or is he just going to sort of be like a putz? We've got we got lots of we got no he won'ts we've got I think so's we've got all we're it's all across the board because a lot of people writing in seem to think that he's going to turn good he's going to have quite an arc in this next book he doesn't have he has not had a save the cat moment but he did have that moment where he was tiny bit sad when Bryce was going to die on camera you know a little bit but also yeah Pippa no he didn't claim Bryce until he was forced. Again, though, I could see this being a mass, like, there was a reason for it. We right? don't know. We don't know yet. Be, like, and you're right, Sweet Lane says, he did want to discover the same things Bryce did or already did. And you're right. And so they were, so maybe he was doing that to get the information. Was he doing it to help them or was he doing it to get the information? Does he want know. the power? Does he want the family? I think that, like, now seeing him not stick up for Rune... But kind of but like, stick up for Bryce? Again, I could see it being like, he's doing the same thing. He could be doing the same thing that Lydia is doing, which is like, I have to convince the Asteri that I am against him. Yes. I have to make it look as bad as possible. Right. So, I don't know. I think he could... And also, yeah, Happy Cryptid, yeah, he beat slash scarred Rune. We know, like, with his That's fire true. power. But also, again, we see the ability, especially with how Mass writes of characters to change and to grow and to learn. Or things that we don't know that suddenly it doesn't justify, but there's like a, an understanding of what happened there a little bit more. Like 
there was that and moment. And yes, Raven Queen, the whole thing about why Rune has tattoos fucking guts me. Yeah, that's it's horrible. Like horrifying. It's horrifying. And also. Which, for those of you that forgot, he has all the tattoos to cover up the scars from his father torturing him when he was younger. Yeah, with the burn scars. Yeah. Um, and, but also, there's that moment, too, where he's like with Bryce and he's trying to convince her that the thing he gr- regrets the most is striking his her mother. It's just like so weird because he has like so little empathy throughout it, and then there she shows these moments of being like, "I'm sorry." And it's like I don't know if that's enough, bro. But yeah, but uh, hopefully you're gonna like work on this more in the third book. We'll see. Okay. Also, so, yeah, Majestic Haley. Also, can we give it up for how anti-establishment these books are? I mean, it's it is really great. I love. I really also love how she overthrow your captors. But I also really love how she addresses that sometimes the rebellions corrupt as well. Of course, that there's never just Pip like asbestos. Oh, Peppa, are we kidding with you? What are you doing? Oh. Uh, she's dead. So good. Uh, did, wait, no, she didn't die. No, she didn't die. But hopefully, she will. I hope so. It's all I think about at night. Um, um, that's sad. Yeah, it's really gross and weird. So, reminder also that the main crew, the, you know, the, what do they call this? I think they call them Team Fuck You or something. Yee. Team something in the books. But the main crew from the books, yes. they came in and they destroyed a bunch of the Rebels' equipment because the Rebels had gone crazy. So they destroyed some of that. And then Cormac died Whenever he was getting, also he's blowing up all the Asteri's biomech things as well. Which also, can we pause for how hot Cormac is? Uh, especially, I don't think I put it in the slides, but look up some of the fan art, because like, I didn't think of him as that hot, and then I was like, oh wait. Mm-hmm. And he's got that fucking brogue in the audiobooks as well. Oh, which I didn't just, listen to those. Uh, 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 uh. And like, he's bad, wait, like, but then he's good, but then like. They have him as like an Irish? Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Well, I, w- I won't get into all that yet. We're going to get into theory soon. But then that's also the question is that, is he dead? I think he's, oh, there maybe There are not. some theories oh, okay. that he is not dead yet. Now, this isn't necessarily people that have written in, but I got I kind of got lost in the Reddit theories, too, mm. of just, like, did he, like, they saw him explode, yeah. essentially. They saw him, like, die in a, f- uh, basically fire yes right but he can also shift and he can also winnow <gasps> whoa so like is he we don't know whoa. and so i'm just throwing we honey's got cat we never saw a body uh, and with his father talking about it in the prologue talking about like what am i gonna do take the ashes anyway i won't give him a proper burial which makes me th- like fuck dad i think well, daddy yeah, is daddy's bad daddy. trash that's bad daddy trashy but, daddy I don't know. I think Cormac might still be alive. That is a good, that's fair. I always just assume because his love was dead that he was just like following her into the dark. Oh, like God. the song. I'll follow Only you into the, the dark. dark. Don't. I already did, it's too late. But <laughs> I, I will say that makes sense. I always, yes. always Im- Im- immediately wrote him off being like, he's with Sophie. Oh, God, him being in love with Sophie Renas, though. Yeah. I wish we would have met her more. Yeah, I wish we had known more about her, but maybe we will get, I hope we get more Thunderbird, Thunderbird How stories. How are we gonna learn everybody? There's so many characters. How are we gonna learn everybody's story? I don't know. I have a million books. Didn't you just say that you just signed another six book deal? Yeah, but it's for another series. No, what about these series? No, I think she still it. I mean, we, we're getting an Elaine book. We're definitely. <laughs> We're getting one. <laughs> At least one. But also, We're getting one. We're definitely getting one. Especially after, oh my God, that Azrael chapter. But all right. Oh, the bonus? We're going to do a full episode, a full podcast episode about the bonus chapters. So if you guys haven't read them yet, you should, you should totally. Yes. Um, okay. So now we're in, we're, we're in a Lydio POV. And we're in front of the Asteri. And then... She goes down with her stupid boyfriend, who everybody hates because he sucks, and they go down to the torture chamber. It's not her fault. It's not. It's so hard because I... When she, like, screams in the, in the second book, when she's, like, just... Or not screams, but, like, is going on about, like, you don't understand what sacrifice is. Yeah. What I've had to fucking do to get this far. Yeah. And, like, oh, God, that scene when he, like, wakes her up to, like, force her to have sex with him. <laughs> 
I can't wait for Pollux to die! Oh, you know she's gonna... It's gonna be a spectacular day. Oh my day. god, I can't wait for him to die! Mm. But so, they go down to the torture dungeons, and Rune, Baxine, and Hunt are getting the saw treatment. They are literally being chained up and part body parts are being shaved off. So Hunt's wings were sawed off. And as you recall, they grow back. Everybody, Everybody's body parts grow yeah, back. Yeah, but they put the Gorsuch in handcuffs on them so they, they like their healing slows down to that of a human's and they feel every second of it. Yeah, so it's not cool. Um, it, and also they're like with Rune, like his lip ring got ripped out and just like hanging like this and like, Ugh. but it's not sexy. It's like no, bad it's like kind. totally not sexy. It's like totally torture instead. And also as a reminder, Hunt's halo returned at the end of the second book. So after they get all in big trouble, they get caught and Bryce is like, I gotta get to hell. And she jumps through the portal and disappears into where? Polaris? Oh my okay. God. Uh, they capture the others and you just see Hunt's tattoo like being like ground back onto his forehead. And you're like, no! no! He just got away. Ugh. So Lydia is down there, and she is torn between her internal life and her need to be the the hind. We say the hind, right? I say the hind. Really? Who says the hind? But and who also says the just hind? because of the audiobook. They say the hind. Yeah. Man, I always said the hind. But that's okay. I think the hind sounds better. Like the Dinberg. <laughs> like you're just shorten it. You shorten down. Oh man, when that hind went down. Yes. <laughs> Do you know there was an acrobat who escaped the, the Hindenburg by acrobatting out of the window when it Whoa! got to the ground? Whoa! Through the noxious gases? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Um, Hind I is a butt. Who likes Hind better? Does I think a lot like of people better? think a lot of people are saying Hind. Fuck all of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the others who are wrong. It's all the others are wrong. Everyone else is wrong. So Lydia needs to be the Hind. <laughs> it reminds me of Heine. I don't know. Yeah, why. like a hind quarters. So in front of Pollux. And right, so Honey's guy cat agrees with you though. Thank you. Well, we're, we're no together in this alone. <laughs> cheesy That's manicotti right. says it like you, and you love cheesy manicotti. I do. I do love a manicotti. <laughs> um, so she has to do this act in front of the Asterian of Pollux, and she is trying to get Rune to talk to her mind to mind in the scene, and he is staring at her with hate in his eyes and he refuses to open his eyes. What do we up. think? Do we forgive the hind? How do we feel about the hind working as a secret agent, connecting with Rune, essentially falling in love with him? I do, I do forgive her, but I also understand why Rune feels the hatred. I understand. He's in the middle of a torture porn. We've he's got, in, got lots of forgives. Right now. We get lots of forgives in chat. We got lots of forgives. But I can understand if he didn't feel good especially about especially at where he is currently i would say also like bitch you are literally going to torture me probably to death so i'm not so lovey dovey right now well especially because when he wouldn't answer the end of that little prologue is her saying get the barbed wire instead get the Jesus. barbed wire instead good man Lord. That, that's why i was like i can't wait to continue reading because it was so upset like the beginning of this next book is so upsetting i will say to rune if you guys get in a uh, couple don't piss her off yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. he didn't talk to her one time she's like balls barbed wire balls barbed wire balls rip man. Her off. it's not gonna be good it's not gonna be good i like that they could, couldn't cut off rune's wings or anything so they're just like oh. I mean, that would hurt. Oh, of course it would hurt, but also it's just like, come on, guys. I mean, you don't know what else they did. What did no. they cut off his peen? Stop! Oh! They didn't cut off his peen. I mean, it grows back. No. Not like in Game of Thrones. Would the peen grow back? All of it grows back. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so it's not just wings. Okay. Well, yeah. I hope he didn't, but if it did, as long as it comes back. Unless it's like really, I think the way that like Lucian's eyes, like it's so cursed. Yeah. So if they curse his dick. <laughs> oh God, that would be that. bad. No one wants a cursed dick at home. If there's one thing that Lydia is gonna protect, is that crotch. Okay, uh, little chef fix says Hunt said his dick would grow back. It would just suck to lose it. Okay, great. Okay, great. Cool. We're all good. 
We're all fine. Yeah, we're fine. So now we're going over to chapter one and we're with Bryce. And Bryce is in Valaris, motherfuckers. And so it did answer a lot of the questions that we had received from people sending in theories that we're talking about. Like, you know, someone brought up like, is Elaine gonna pop up? Because Elaine wasn't at the end of the second book. Like, what is she off doing? And like, and who who is in the room with them when she shows up? This is all answered from this chapter. Yes. And so, yeah, the the end of the second Crescent City leaves us on this amazing cliffhanger where she suddenly is on the lawn of the river house and Az is there. And you're just like, what? Holy shit! And then she, the guy goes, my name is Rizond. And you're like, whoa! Gish, 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 gish. I mean, the second, like, like Azriel just like, and the shadows moved around there. I was just like, oh, it's him. It's oh my God, him. It's him. Um, so and that's where she is, but now they are in the same chamber where they took all of the hypnotized Autumn Court soldiers. That's oh my in God, the Lil Shepard says, Azrael saying, explain or die. Had me screaming. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I know it's toxic, but it's hot. Yeah. Um, so they're in that same room with the, the grate with the beasts underneath it, and they're trying to talk to the Autumn Court soldiers, except this time it's Reese. As an Amran, and they're just talking to her. They're not like doing torture stuff to her. Sorry, real quick. Only watches. Bot says, "Woo! I just finished the first two just now, dude. Only watches right now. Go read the prologue and the first chapter. That's what we're talking about right now. Go read it over on SJM's website because they're they've already released the prologue and the first chapter. So go read it. And we're talking about it. So if you don't, okay, want to I just play, finished those. Okay, great, 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 okay, great, great. Okay. So right now we're on the beginning of the chapter one." And they're in the interrogation room. But they're not doing tortures. So no, of course it. not. As, not right away. <laughs> as they interrogate Bryce, they come to the realization as they're all talking and trying to like piece together. Bright we're in Bryce's POV and she's like, I can't tell them everything, but like they obviously have a bunch of powers and are able to like smell her lies yeah. and do all the things that they can do. And so she's trying to like maneuver it without saying too much. And as they're talking, they all come to a realization that the sword Gwydion is that also the star sword? It's, it's the same sword, everybody! It's insane. Did I have to look up what Gwydion meant? Yes, I did, because I didn't understand. There's a lot of words. Um, there's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of lore. There's a lot, of, uh, there's a lot going on with the sword. But I feel like there's going to be a lot more with the sword happening in Crescent City 3. Because now, so we're talking star power. We're talking she's in the place where she was like essentially meant to be. So do you think, which I mean, I know your answer, but like how much stronger do you think she's going to be in this world? Now, like between having the star sword, which Natalie. I know. You I threw have, your star sword I'm on the floor. I'm sorry. I know. I always, I never clean up after myself. Please. It's definitely not a Wonder Woman sword, so don't you fucking ever say it. Look at how tiny his little butt is. His little tiny butt. Are you saying yourself in the third person? Oh, you got a nice little butt there. Butt. I was talking about my husband's butt. His his pants oh, this is pants. pulling down over my butt. You're wearing his pants. I'm wearing his pants. I'm wearing his pants. Um, I'm wearing but his your, pants. Your, your ass looks great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah they're going to train her, Pippin. So they're going to train her, so it's like we're going to have great training montage. You're the best around. No, 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 no. I hope that we get that montage that's a little bit like Rocky. Yeah. But like, I bet, throwing it out there, do we think Nesta and Bryce are going to hate each other or do you think they're going to love each other? I think that they... Because you know they're going to have to work together because like, I think that like when it comes to the weapons that they both use, the powers that they both have... They're both a strong personality, I will say that. Nessa's in such a good place, you're right, Pips. Kurt Girl says Nessa will see herself in Bryce. But, oh my god, is only watch Bryce as a Valkyrie. I mean, of course of course, she would be amazing. Of course. I don't know, we'll see. There might be some tension. I don't know. But honey Scott says Bryce will need to learn to speak to them though, but now she's got that bean. Oh, she's got, she's got magic bean, bean magic. We'll get to the bean magic, don't you worry. But <laughs> hey, I thought we had to get that in the last book. <laughs> There's a lot of bean magic in these books. <laughs> We're at the one hour mark, everybody. Woo! One hour left until the book shows up in our Kindles, hopefully. Hours. Well, at least uh, if you're on the East Coast, it should. Yes. I think all of us, though. I'm pretty sure. Um, Momo Canoe says there was a theory that Nesta is the Valkyrie Queen. 
Is there a queen? I guess there's a Valkyrie queen. I don't remember that part. No, I don't either. Maybe we haven't gotten there yet. Maybe it's a whole new world. That's too much. My brain hurts. Um, so what we also learn in this interrogation is that between all of their back and forth, mostly with Amron and Bryce, because Amron's the one who remembers some of the stuff that Bryce is talking about and like the names and some of them like ring true. And then it's like, okay, so now we're in, in when we're in uh, Lunathian, it's like the year 15,010 or something like that. Yeah. I forget what year it is, but it's in the 15,000 something. Yes. And then Amron's like, 15,000 years ago is kind of when people were like, a bunch of people just disappeared. I don't know what's going on. And it's oh, like, and weird. Are they stuck in the walls? What does it say? When, like, when they're talking about the like, the screams they heard behind the concrete walls. Who are you talking about? There was something I read. Something that she saw. I don't know if it was when she touched the harp. Is it when she touches the harp? Oh, when they talk about okay, the, yes. like, the screaming of the fae. I didn't know the... if you were talking about something you had in your own life going on. Dust or... court. Yeah, she heard people inside of the uh, prison. Yes. With a harp. Yes. yes. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, maybe that is then? That's the screaming. Maybe that is then. Yeah. So they realize. Which could be Dusk Court, which, I mean, we've got a lot to talk about the Dusk Court, but we're not there yet. <sighs> I mean, I guess we are there. But. Uh, who can stop talking about the Dusk Court? Oh, my God. But it's clear after their discussion that Bryce's Fey people of Midgard came from the world that Prithian's in, which they still have not said the name of. The world. They're still not saying the world's name of Prithian, and I'm not sure why exactly. Yeah. I don't know if it actually is going to matter, but they're saying all the other planets' names, but not Prithian's, right? Does anybody remember any point when they're saying Prithian's You mean you're talking about when the Asteri, like, was taking over, like, like when they were talking about, like, all of the places they've conquered? Yeah, but any time in the books. Not in Crescent City. No, but I mean, even in the Akatar books. Have they named the planet? They must have. I don't think they did. No. Folks, did they? All right, we, we, put, it, we put it to chat. Katie Dicecoe Dice. says no. Nope. Et Humility says nope. Kind of says they don't. All right, they didn't. What if it's just... They just call it the continent. What if they just live in like the Wisconsin Dells? They've been there the whole time. Whoa, like the water parks? Oh, they've been there 15,000 years. Oh, that's why they speak an ancient language inside of the water parks. <laughs> yes. The Book that's of Breathings. That's where you go. Yeah, yeah. It's the Book of Breathings. Okay. Because, because Crescent City is so similar to our world, I always assume that that Bryce is speaking the human language and that Prithian speaking like... The, yeah, the language of the Fae. Yeah. The, the, ancient, the ancient language. Because they're far in the past. Kind, I think so. I don't know. It's so hard to gauge I, still. So, I, again, I know I'm not going to bring up Throne of Glass in front of Natalie, even though I also haven't read it yet. Yeah, I've read more of it than you have. I know you have. But I also read a bunch of the theories. I read through all the theories. So I'm trying not to say anything. You can't. You can't. I'm you can't. not saying I'm going to leave this The studio. only thing that you do know that I am going to bring up is that there are multiple books that are happening simultaneously. And I'm sure that you know that about Throne of Glass. That is something that is canonically known that multiple books are going at the same time. So it is also the conversation of like, is, uh, is it dimensions? Or is it the past? I don't know. That's it. I mean, that was already something I was wondering about the books anyway. Lorad says, I think it's just different dimensions. Momo Kano says, but is it the past? I thought it was all the same time, just different planets. I kind of liked the concept that Prithian was the future. Like, it was our time, but then everything went back. But like, that's just me spitballing, you guys. I don't know. I'm just I'm just a wacky girl in a backwards hat. Squeegee Bean says, but the Avalon Fae are also like technology-less by choice. Maybe it didn't happen on the other planet or they just chose to not embrace it. The humans on Akatar planet are pretty squashed. You're right. Yeah. The humans are, are not in charge of anything there. It's true. I agree. They don't have the same agency. Not that they have a whole hell of a lot of agency in Crescent All right, uh, fine. I'll Crescent pour City. wine in my cup too, I guess. I mean, man. Uh, we got, we got less than an hour. Let me just, uh, I don't want to put my sword down. No, obviously. You can never, one can never put down their sword when they're pouring their wine. Do you think that Bryce would ever put down that damn thing? Mm -mm. I wouldn't either, bitch. Everyone get yourself another drink. It's, the t it's that time. We've got an hour left. So we can, um, so then we get a pretty good recap in this section of everything that the Estaria, oh, I spelled it wrong. Sorry, everybody. That the Estaria has been doing as, as basically Bryce explains to them 
uh, like what has been happening because they don't know the term hysteria. That's not the word they use. Right. So they're basically, she's breaking down what it is and they're like, I, basically Amron says, yes, this is, sounds exactly like what I remember the, because she was already in the prison at this point, but she, you know, they're all whispering at each other. Oh, they got nothing to do all They got nothing night. else to do. They all, all they do is gossip. Um, and then I also love that Amron listened, uh, when she was listening to Bryce, she describes the first light as a tithing. Yes. Because all I'm doing is covering LDS crimes right now. Oh, I see. But that made me, that threw me back to the first uh, Akajar book, or the second Akajar book when uh, Tamlin was doing the tithing. Well, yeah, again, same, but it's, of, it's like, they negatively... Don't need, in their world, they don't need to tithe anymore, mm-hmm. but the fact that, like, that was such a huge thing that Tamlin still does it. That... It's a negative representation because I think tithing is bullshit. Yeah, I said yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Whether you can shapeshift into a beast or you're just the church, I'm against the idea of tithing. Yeah. Oh, we're getting edgy tonight. Yeah. yeah. We've had a glass of wine. Yeah, we're everybody. having a couple glasses of wine. I've got a slave relic tattoo on my head. Yeah. So I'm not going to read this throughout, but this is just like a little clip of the the mythology that they say on Are Midgard. Are into Thea? Uh, no, right. we're not really. I can't. Oh, okay. I can't. This is too much. Oh. It's too much. Well, we have to get into Thea because that's part of the theories but that for the is, next book. Yeah, so that is the mythology that they have on Midgard. So Bryce basically says, like, we the what we have said, like, how the Fae got to our planet that I live on is that there was this queen named Thea and the, the prince is named Pel- Peleus. Peleus? Yeah. Peleus. Peleus. Right? That, that's, again, I only, I'm not trying to, like, correct you. I'm just only saying it what I heard in the audiobook because I only listen to the audiobooks. I have no idea. So I believe you. And Don't worry, Legal Queen, uh, you have trial in the morning. I have to go to sleep, but how do I leave you guys? Don't worry, this will be up. Twitch.tv forward slash LPN TV. Um, you can come check this out. Don't worry. Go I to hope, sleep. Babe. I hope go you're not sleep. on trial. Yeah, go to sleep. You, it sounds like you need sleep. If you're on trial for something, I hope it goes well. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, may you win, may you not win. I guess you always want to win in a trial. I'm a prosecutor. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. good Godspeed to you. I don't know, it might help you to stay up and listen to all this. It might help your case tomorrow if you would just yeah, really maybe. reflect. Yeah, just tell, tell the judge about it. If you dress up like this, then you can tell the judge. You can tell, so it's a good icebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> <Court>. <laughs> Um, okay, wait. Lil uh-huh. Chef Fix says, commenting this again, as Shane posted this teaser, Bryce began running again, hurtling through the cave, back toward Nesta and Azriel, mm-hmm. and she prayed there was something left for her to save. That was left, I think that was up on SJM's Instagram mm-hmm. at one point. So there is a point where the three of them are together, which would be really interesting. It's going to be a lot of ass going, oh, oh, God. There's a lot of women around who are real loud. It'd be like if Az was, was us with us in a cave. Oh my god, like, he would love us in a cave. I'd be like, Az, look, I, I could put Az, on wings look at me. too. Look at me, Az, Az, look at yeah. Az. Oh, you're a shadow singer? Yeah, well, I'm a bitch. Well, that's what I'll <laughs> say to him, he'll love it. He'll love it, he'll think he'll it's love very it. funny. He's gonna be like, ah, oh, that's my girl right there. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, Raven Queen is going to be a lot of Azrael looking sexy in the corner, yeah. just like thumb in a pie. And like, you're you're getting your wires crossed. Thumb in a pie, like the the nursery rhyme. Yeah. Mm, okay. It's better than his dick in a pie. I guess so. Oh, American Pie. I remember. Yeah. I remember. Um, so basically, their mythology says that this two. Fae fought against the Astari whenever they were in the world of Prithian, yeah. and that in the world of Prithian. It's one of the only planets that the Asteri didn't just completely like suck all of the magic out of and they beat them and they push them away and they like escape them somehow and are able to hide from them. So the Asteri are still technically looking for them right now, but what we learn is that they are what <laughs> the Asteri <laughs> is the tackling. <laughs> I forgot what that was. What is that? It's a bean. <laughs> Why? Is it's that a, a bean? A bean with a face? It's a, it's a bean, oh, because of the, the bean with the language. The language yeah. bean. Oh, it's the language bean. <laughs> oh, yeah, just everyone in chat. The bean! The bean! The Astari are the Daglin, guys. So remember yes. when we were all talking about uh, whenever Nesta and Cassian are in the prison and they're trying to deal with, um, oh my God, what's his name? What's the... Wait, where? The, um, who are they fighting in the prison after they get the harp? Come on, guys. Wait, what? The Lanthus? 
Lanthus, thank you. Lanthus. So I, I thought you were talking about in the first chapter. I was like, wait, they're not fighting anyone in the first no, no, no. chapter. Well, I was bringing the reference point of whenever in Silver Flame, whenever they're down there and they have the entire, like, she has, like, the the throwing her mind into, like, the fantasy of Lanthus. And it's like, it, there's thrones there and all this stuff's happening. And then they're talking about the mythology of the Daglin. Yeah. That's the Asteri. And I misspelled it again. But it, you know what I meant. So they're the same. We learned that. In this, they are the same. Yeah. So they are the same. Bunch. This is a lot in the first fucking chapter. This is a lot. Like, that's what I'm saying. A lot of the theories are immediately answered by this first chapter. I almost feel like there's a yeah, chance. Right, kind of, yes, big theory confirmed. All right, great. I feel Out like the gate. maybe the SGM knew all of these theories were happening, and she was like, here are their theories. I'm going to tell a different story. You're not going to be, you're not telling the story for me. So all of the fans were like, I know what's going to happen. She's like, yeah, this is it at the top. This is, Here's I'm going to fucking say it. Afterwards, um, which I just love. Yes. I love that for her. So also in this, they were, um, when they're having this conversation, I just noted that uh, Bryce mentions that Cormac's shadows were a lot like Asriel's. So just a little interesting note there. It is an, inter it's so interesting what is, so it's like, Obviously, she's like, oh, that dude looks like Rune. Okay, mm -hmm. they look the same. Okay, this guy reminds me of Cormac. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is obvious connections between, like, the shadows. There's obvious connections between their powers that they have and why they have them. And it's just so exciting and also sad to think of how little is probably actually going to be answered in this book because you know it's not the last one. No, but there is, like, a thousand pages, so... It's not enough! <laughs> well, she's only 37. She's got a lot of right and left in her hand, you know? I'm fucking better. Hope she ain't retiring no time soon. So, Re I don't think so. So, Reese and, uh, so Reese yes, goes away. Could you imagine back. writing 26 books that correlate but have suddenly main stories she has to match? Like, I can't, I can't imagine keeping all of this in check. And then also, like, having to write a full story outside of, so it's like, question. Is she current? She must be currently writing the next Akatar book. So she probably has to like piece together parts of like, okay, what am I going to include in this book? And where does that fall in the timeline? Like, is this, where are they in Akatar? And also in the modern world, you must not have to look, you, you probably can't look at Reddit because anytime you go, it's just people going, um, actually those months don't align with the earlier story. And yeah, you're not going to really? get the um actuallys here. We're definitely, a, I think you can tell at this point, we're more of a, wait, that did happen, right? This happened, just so much happens. I also think if you're writing a good fantasy story, I'm way more of a yes ander with it. I'm not trying to like find the, the, the cracks and be like, actually, that's not correct before what they said. <laughs> Um, I like to I just be really into upset it. if you became that. Like Natalie, I don't know if we should As do I this go, anymore. Actually, I don't like it because <laughs> oh, these didn't match up. Oh god! And I was up all night I just in my want to my wine spritzer. Um, no, I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, so you're putting down the star sword. I, I have to put the star sword down. <laughs> what do you want to drink your wine? What do you want to run the show? <laughs> I could just do a sword uh, performance for you. You know we'd watch it. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, Ginger Hips. You know she has a string board and insane spreadsheet. She's got to. Yeah, and I also in her interviews she has a, an interesting way of talking about how she makes stories. Um, she says she does feel like she's there's stuff in the air and she's reaching into it. So Ooh. it feels like maybe the way that she processes it, it feels like there's like some other cloud database where she pulls stuff from. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I thought cool. that was really interesting. I imagine that becomes a little bit more natural when you start writing novels so young. It kind of just is ingrained in you to like figure it out like that. I don't know. It's got to be honestly. We were talking to a friend of ours that writes a bunch of music uh, for like huge drag queens, and she was talking about like writing. She's been writing music her entire life, like even before, like it was like before she like never like wrote stories. She would always write music. So for her, she's always seen it. Like yeah. she can see the song before she even writes it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's such a cool like strength to have when you've been doing something for so long that you've just mastered the craft of it. That's how I feel about podcasting. I can just see the yeah, podcast. Yeah, you're, like, like, you're such a master of the craft. I was always just like, master of the craft, keeper of the books. That's what I always said about Natalie. <laughs> yeah, you sure do always say that. So Bryce, basically Reese 
brings these two things in his hands. He's got the Veritas Orb, which we've seen before. Um, it's a truth teller, but Reese doesn't mention that to her, which I thought was interesting, because he brings her the orb, and he just says, it'll what show their memories. Um, and so she thinks of all of the horrible modern weapons that she has in Crescent City in her world and puts them in the Veritas Orb, and then they all together watch a montage of like military-grade weapons, which is fun, and everybody's like, huh. Yeah, uh, 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 they just saw like a just a clip of Fox News, and they were like, yeah. "I'd rather never yeah, watch this yeah, again." Yeah, I was like, "I'm gonna, just, I'm good here. I don't need to know about other planets." Um, so they do all that, and then translation bean swallow that bean, bitch. <laughs> Sometimes a bitch gotta swallow that a bean. bean. So when she swallows the uh, bean, there's some kind of new knowledge that like goes into your body, uh. and then whatever that knowledge was, something triggers in her, and it makes her glow power happen. Everybody freaks out because she's just like, "It's I've got." You can kind of see. You did a really good job <laughs> with your with Thank your you. star, and it is it does. Hey, uh, eyes up here. Oh, ah! It's not, it's not your, her breasts are out. She's begging for it. How dare you? <laughs> As I said, demand he zoom in on my yeah, chest. Yeah, you were demanding it. Um, not that part of my chest. <laughs> so Everyone's talking about imagining all the characters with a gun, like Cassian with a gun, Nesta with a gun. I'd be so scared of all of them with guns. No, I don't want them to have guns. No, I'm scared. I think it was a Crescent City book where it's the line of um, her talking about, like, a sword can represent, like, many different things. It can represent hope and, and bravery, and a gun only represents death. And I think that's really true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Kurt Girl does say that's Bryce's chest, not Natalie's. So, you know, mm. we got to see the chest. All right. And Bryce right, would show right. it off. Bryce would be completely fine with it. Although I think that she is a little bit more shy now with the, with the star. Oh, because she doesn't know when it's going to go off still. She's yeah. kind of figuring it out. Yeah, she's still figuring it out. So her lights go like this. Cormac can't teach her anymore. No, nope. oh, Or can he? going to teach her. Or can he? Or can he? Um, we don't know. Maybe. So when that happens, everybody's like, ah, your chest is glowing. Ah. And when that happens, it also makes her back glow. So her back tattoo that now has, you know, it says, um, in in love, wait, in love all's possible. All all's possible, yeah. Um, and Amron says she can read it. The thing on the back of her that that is tattooed on her that like maybe not everybody could have understood is oh, it's the same writing as the Book of Breathings, and that's where it ends. That's a lot in the first chapter, guys. That is a lot in the first chapter, and the fact that it has is tied to the Book of Breathings is crazy. Her back's the book, is the back of breathings. Back, yeah, back of breathings. And it is going in and out with her lungs. And isn't that nice? Oh, look at that, it's breathing. Yeah, it's breathing, it's breathing. All right, couple crossovers. We, okay. This is all stuff that I think we already all know. And please, if anybody, I didn't do a, a, an exhaustive list. So if anybody has any ideas of crossovers that we're not talking about, please put it in the chat. Also, Jackie, let me know. Um, also, something that uh, I was reminded of in reading my theory, I just have random things written down as well as like all the fan theories, but like um, uh, Taylor had written in, Lydia and Bryce communicate across worlds since Bryce has the calm crystal that Rune slipped her at the end of Crescent City 2. Mm, I forgot. I forgot too. That Bryce has the calm crystal, so she might be able to connect and communicate with them. That's true. Or is she going to be able to communicate with Cormac? <gasps> I don't know. Or maybe she can contact Hell? We still don't know what Hell is. No. Hell we don't. is some other place that nobody seems to know Even what it is. Even if and Bryce use it, I don't know, but maybe one of Akatar can use it. Maybe if she swallows it, the bean and the stone get together, have so a she's baby. Gonna, she's going to start just swallowing everything? Just go, huh? And I'm like, spit it out, Bryce. Spit it out. But you, maybe it'll help. She swallows it. I don't <laughs> yeah, I heard it helps out a couple of things. Oh boy. Oh brother. Um, <sighs> so we have Rune and Reese, as we knew from the last book, and also reminded again at the beginning of this the first chapter, they're essentially twins. Um, and so hopefully, Bryce isn't attracted to Reese. 
Because it's be it's pretty hard to not be attracted to Reese. Okay. But it looks just like her brother. So, question though. You said they look like twins. Mm-hmm. How do we think they are related? This is there are many theories oh, about I'm this. I'm sure. Many, many theories about how Rune and Rees are related. Now we talk about they've got the same coloring, they've got the same eyes, they like straight up just look the same. We've got a lot of Reese's sister is Rune's mom. Reese's sister okay. is Rune. Okay, because, well, n- Le- but no, then, what? but no, because then Bryce would be the sister that Reese had to died, right? But here's the thing there is a theory that Tamlin, who is a shapeshifter, uh-huh. when he found Rune's, uh, Reese's mother and sister, that he didn't kill them, that he actually shifted them into something else to save them rather than killing them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't, I say, I do not believe this. I just like, I read it as a theory and I was like, that's interesting. I don't know, can Tim Tamlin shift other people? Can he? I don't know. I, I feel like that could be what we would call a stretch. Oh, it's a stretch. I don't know. It's a stretch, but then that would mean Reese's mom, sister, still alive. No, she's super dead. Never saw the body. Saw the wings. We can't Never have seen saw the everybody. Body. Oh, we can see everybody. <laughs> Okay, we have Natalie. I'm here to sp- I'm here to sprinkle. I'm sprinkling theories on top. It doesn't it sounds mean like that you're it's trying real. to sow discord. I'm, I'm sprinkling, like Keith. You're trying to you're trying to get so you you put one the truth in all the Yes, he can. He transformed all those wolves at the beginning. Huh? Oh, he transformed the wolves at the beginning. <laughs> I thought those. Jamie Cocky says I love these sprinkles. So I thought they were just also shapeshifters. Because the, the Spring Court. Spring Court has shapeshifters. Right. I don't think Tamlin did that. But Reese and Reese's sister are not in the Spring Court. I'm They're sick not shapeshifters. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of your, your Baby lies. Queen, if Hunt can survive from getting his wings cut off, so can Reese's mother and sister. I don't believe it. I think that's a wishful thinking. I don't think they're alive. I'm but wait, saying. I got to show you uh, these pictures. Doesn't this... Uh, um, of Anar. Doesn't that look like Jake Gyllenhaal? <laughs> Doesn't that look like it could be Jake Gyllenhaal? In that it character? did, especially because I recently watched the movie Prisoners, and you, there's a lot of Jake Gyllenhaal in that movie. I feel like he'd actually be good for the part. Oh, yeah, he would be. Anar. 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 So this is Autumn King. the Autumn Which King. We, I, but then, okay, why was he referred to as... All right. We know there are multiple characters, especially in Crescent City, well, I say especially, but we also don't know a lot of their last names in um, Akatar either. But yeah. why was he just referred to as the Autumn King? I thought that it was going to come out later on that it's like, oh, he is Baron, or he is the brother of Baron, or there is something to do with Baron. But then I was like, Einar? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Why'd you keep us? Why'd you keep Einar from us? I mean, you. It might yet to be revealed. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just saying, I thought there was going to be more of a aha when we found out his name. And I was just like, Einar. You know, it might be something we don't know yet. Yeah. It might come back. Or maybe she just liked the name Einar. And she was like, they're going to be so excited by this name. They love you. this name. They're going to goosh for this name. Einar. Einar, please. I was not. I was not already. Not. I was not attracted to him anyway. Like it wasn't. No, that. he's yucky. Yeah. No, he's a yuck buck. Um, I do love this drawing of him though. And uh, so the, of course, the other Autumn King that we've met, Baron Vincera. Again, not. We don't know everybody's last names, but we know both of the Autumn King's last names. And um, this, you know, of course, also one of many Autumn Kings. We only have met Lord Baron in this one time period. There's been a bunch of other ones, but. Why is there only an Autumn King in Crescent City? There aren't courts. No. There's no actually description as to why he's called the Autumn King either, because he's not like living in Autumn Town. 
Yeah, it's not, the leaves aren't always fall, and he's not always, like, listening to Simon and Garfunkel. Crinkle Leafton. Aw, but maybe he is. Aw. <laughs> yeah, maybe only one king came through, C squared says. Yeah, maybe. maybe. So maybe he's, like, a, a long line, and only one court uh, nobleman got through the, that's true, that could be why. Yeah. But I wonder if they know why he's called the Autumn King, or it's just, like, a weird, oh, he's just that guy, like... He loves pumpkins. He, yeah, maybe that's just his thing. Because, like, you know, Cormac's father is the, the king of the Avalon Fae, right? Yes. And that's yes. what they, like, refer yes. to him as. Yeah. So, but, like, the and Autumn King the, is not the, the king of the Valbaran Fae, right? No. Or is he? I don't know. They're, I just know they're related, okay. right? Because Rune, Rune and... They're cousins. They're cousins, Rune and Cormac. Mm -hmm. So they're, some, they're in some way related. But then also, what does this have to do with Baron? Maybe nothing. Maybe everything. Maybe everything. Like, that's the thing we don't know. We, like, SJM, and she loves, talk about sprinkles. She puts the sprinkles in. You don't know which sprinkles is going to be the sprinkle that's the yummiest. You gotta I don't know which You got to lick them all. You got to put your tongue on it. Always Clean. open. Anytime you see someone, they've got sprinkles on it, make sure you put your tongue on their sprinkles because you're doing it to protect them. Also, you don't know which ones are the good ones. What's the good ones? I said, which one's good? That's me shoving my tongue into my husband's yogurt. Ew. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you think, you know how hard I'm going to get laid tonight going home <laughs> looking like this? <laughs> Just going to be like, leave the tattoo on. Oh, I thought you were going to say, leave my pants on. <laughs> leave my pants on. <laughs> okay, you're right, fuck you. I'm sorry, fuck yogurt, everyone. You're right. I can't canonically. Ugh. Fuck yogurt. Yeah, you're right. I don't like yogurt. Just because we're not on good foot doesn't mean we can't have the standards. Oh, that's of right. Good of course. Food. I'm sorry. Yes. You yes. must withhold Thank you. your beliefs. Thank you, LPN TV, for the puds in chat. Um, um, we already know this, but the Astari and the Daglin are the same. Okay, I will same note that they had different aesthetics in each of the, the worlds. Maybe they just like to switch it up, but in the Daglin... Daglin, I think, sexier. Goth, yeah. It's gother. The uh, the Great Hunt, and then we have the Astari in Crescent City, and they all like, they love they love the, the Chip and Jojo sort of vibe. Yeah, it's all shiplap. A lot of shiplap. Yeah. Um, a lot of farm, a lot of barn kids. doors. Yeah, there's animals. Ever. Yeah, you know, but I like both of them. I, I would uh, Daglin's more my, my only watch is why if I not remember the Daglin at all? I think it's because they weren't a part of the current story. They were told in stories of the past, like in snips. It was because I think it was of, only like once or twice. Yeah, too. it was only I believe only because when Nesta and Cassian returned with the harp and they told all the stuff that like was sent into Nesta's mind that Reese kind of went, oh, this is because of this historical thing that happened in our world, and the Daglin did this, and they had the Great Hunt, and they were these pieces of shit who sat on thrones and all that. So that's, it's really just mentioned because of the one, I assume, I, assume I can't talk about the story. fucking sprinkles. Yeah, it is. It was one, like, Kurt Girl says, it was one single sprinkle. Like, that, it, it, it just... A little bit, and you never know what she's going to bring back. You never know what she's planting. Sometimes she's planting note to toll. That's why you got to put your tongue on everyone. Every sprinkle! Ah, eat it like this. Ah, like I'm eating corn on the cob. Ah, nah, 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 nah. One sprinkle at a time. All right, relax. We'll get to your sprinkles soon, honey. <laughs> I find sprinkles and we don't have any. <laughs> we don't have any. Here. I love sprinkles so much. I do too. Rainbow sprinkles. I'll do anything for sprinkles, but not just SJM sprinkles. No, just regular rainbow yeah, sprinkles. Yeah, regular rainbow sprinkles. Then we already have, we know this one too. We have Gwydion and Star Sword. Same these. Yeah, man. So we have these made objects. I don't know if it's because they're cauldron made or if it's like the same, they have all the same ancestor or whatever, but that's the same sword, but it also called to. Um, the maid sword, the maid dagger that Nesta made, because that's what was going on with whenever As had it. Like calls to light. Oh no, no, was that the truth teller? Maid. Truth, that was, it was truth, truth teller. teller. But I also do think because like the, when they talk about the two swords. 
that will come together. There's a whole sword world. There's a whole sword world. There's a whole sword lore. Like what? Like what is it? What is the phrase? What is the phrase? Is like when they come together, like the 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 fae will finally. Be, yeah, when the dagger and the sword and the blade come near each other, then everybody's free or something. Yeah, it's something like it's that. It's something that the swords are looking for each other. Um, okay, that's all of them that I have. So, okay. are there, what other combo or whatever other crossovers that I miss? C -c 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 crossovers! Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, obviously, please chat, let us know um, of anything that you are thinking of. And, okay, the people will be untied when sword and blade meet. Thank you, Lil Shefik. The people will be untied when, or united, when the sword and the blade meet. So that is going to bring the two worlds together. Yes. Right? But and, and open up the It's what it's like when rift. worlds collide. That's what Which it's like. Which is not good. No. It seems like that'd be bad. Yeah, I think it's gonna Cormac and Azrael's shadows. Talk about the fact that Cormac also yeah. is enveloped in shadows. Azrael shadow singers, are they related? And if they're not directly related. Are there shadows why, lovers? Why do they both have, sh yeah, maybe they're shadows, fuck. Which would be fun. I'm just but throwing it out there. Why do, why are they both covered in shadow? I don't know, cause we, cause even. 30 within, minutes everybody, 30, 30 minutes, minutes everybody. Whenever they've talked about as as shadows in the past, they all kind of note that they don't really know what they are. Yeah. Cause he also can winnow, but it's not winnowing, right? right. Yeah, so they well, don't he even... calls it uh, like, or Cormac calls it teleporting, right? Yeah, but even as the, wasn't it as one of the characters winnows but doesn't really winnow, like they do a different thing, and I thought I think it's as saunters instead. He saunters and they just like fall. Yeah, kind of Emma says he he like shifts between shadows. It's not the yeah. same. Okay, yeah. so. His I know, but in the coven says not related, but Zayden is also a shadow singer, so I know I have a type that is, that is fourth wing, but also every, I'm, it, this is the problem. There's no Reading dragons, all we're of not these doing dragons. books though, I'm just like, I think, and I'm like, oh my god, he's just like Asriel, I'm like, different book. I'm reading too many smuts at the same time or that I get are my smut all lore. of them connected? Don't, don't, don't ever say that, because she, we, I can't say it. Nope. I can't ruin fourth wing for you either. No, 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 no. But no, no, everyone no. knows what happens with the. Don't dip. Do. Do. Oh. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I hope everybody who didn't want to know that looked away. <laughs> I was just whispering it. Oh my god. Uh, it's just interesting how sometimes the books collide, okay? Spook 8 asks, is Shaggy read Iron Flame yet? I am in the middle of Iron Flame, but I put it down. I put it down because I start. I bought the first Throne of Glass, but now I have to put that down so that I can read Crescent City 3. Oh yeah, now we have to do this. Yes. But at least the first couple Thrones of Glasses are not that long. That's good because I got a, I got a lot to read. So many. I got a lot so to many read. So many pages. There's just so much. Um, uh, there was one I forgot. I had something. Oh, there was a connection. It's gone. I know, Lil Chef Vic, you need to finish Iron Flame before you get into an eight book series, Jackie, yeah, but I definitely need to read Crescent City 3 before we have I do any of that. Enough going on. We don't need another book series in here sullying it. We have to figure these books out first. Yeah, I need. I um, is there need. any other crossover or connections that we haven't hit? I know there was one that I was going to say, and it's, I don't remember. Well, we need one. to talk. I mean, I have many theories, but we also need to talk about. You have some fan theories? Say, uh. Oh, Thea? Bitch, we need to talk about Is there Thea. a lot of fan writers? There's a lot. Let's, we're only, we have 30 minutes. Queen Let's get Thea. into some of the fan theories. Love it. You guys, thank you so much for writing in. Thank you guys so incredibly much for sharing. And I, I really appreciate I loved going through all of them. I loved reading everything. Like, even just like the random things of just like, I just think it's going to be great. Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciated it. I appreciate it as well. Legal Queen says Throne of Glass is so much better than Iron Flame. I, I'm sure it is. I'm going to read the hell out of it. But I love, I support and love, I think it's cool to read any fantasy books. I think it's We awesome. know that the Fey Queen is named Thea, right? Okay. We know that she's the last starborn queen. We know that Bryce gets her power from the last starborn queen, right. Queen Thea. 
Right. One thing we 100% know about Thea is she has two daughters. Okay, yes. We don't know who one of the daughters is. So many of the theories have a lot to do with who is the other daughter? Okay. What does the fact that, like, Bryce has her starborn power, what does that mean for Bryce? Yeah. How does it mean she's connected to them? Are any of the Archeron sisters connected to them? Oh, oh. I know, I know. Oh. But then, Lorad, <laughs> Jessica. There's also oh, a Jessica. huge theory from Jordan. Jessica is Thea's daughter, Helena. It would explain why she has the Library of Parthos and why the Asteri don't really fuck with her at all. And she also has that relationship with Adis because wasn't Adis in love with Thea? Yes. Adis was in love with Thea. Thea was betrothed to Peleus. Right. Peleus is who ends up killing her in the end. Yeah. But Adis, and what is interesting is that it is said time and time again that Thea... That Adis was in love with Thea, but it never said that Thea was in love with Adis. Ouch. So, you're thinking, these are two princes of hell mm -hmm. that are going after each other. At humility, says Adis is the bone carver. Whoa! There's lots of... Don't, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting all of the theories mixed up because, like, there's also the amulet Lich, Lil Shevik, oh, yeah. the amulet Bryce wears. That can, I know it connects to Throne of Glass, but I also think that it connects with this as well. Well, it just it's interesting it's called the Archesian Amulet because it's, like, Archeron. This is the thing. What? What? Well, how does it tie in? What is, does it mean? Is she connect, like, so it's like if she is a part of Thea... Does that mean that the sisters are connected to, like, how are they connected to Bryce? And yes, the bone carver drew three intersecting circles, Hi uh, Happy Crep did said. Wait, when? He, when he was talking about him and the Strega, and then oh, also, the the Strega. oh, yeah. And then there's the third. I don't think the that we know who the third was. The and what was the other one? Oh, what was the other? What was their Uncover. sibling? The Strega. Somebody knows. Save us! Save us! There's too many names in our head! The Koshki! 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 Because we still Koshke, have... Koshki! 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 Wait, no, the, the... Yeah! Koshki! Koshki! Koshki's, I don't know how to say it. Koshki's the one, uh, the, the, lake, the lake wizard. Oh, man, I've got a lot of theories about Koshki! You do, personally? Kate from Caitlyn. Is Koshki gonna be the new big bad? I mean, he's, they're, they're really, she's been building it up for him to be. They took a page out of Natalie's book and Googled him. Koshe is a figure from Russian folklore who performs a spell that traps his death and other mm -hmm. objects. Obviously, this sounds familiar uh, to Harry Potter nerds. I think Koshe is going to be the next big bad in the Akatar universe or a secondary big bad to the Asteri slash Daglin. I think Koshe is basically fairy Voldemort and his life might be tied to the four dread trove items. Oh. The harp, the crown, and the mask, plus a mysterious fourth item, the horn. Made of bone. I think the fourth item is going to be the horn. Ba ba ba. And now that Bryce is in Prithian, all four objects are on the same planet again. Uh oh. Koshe is also described in Russian folklore as trapping the hero's love interest. He currently has Vasa ensnared. I think Vasa is going Firebird. to be Lucian's love interest once he and Elaine figure out how to willingly break their mating <sighs> bond. While everyone is gearing up for the big conflict in Crescent City 3 to be the Asteri versus Prithian, I think Sarah is going to drag it out a bit more. Crescent City 3 is probably instead going to focus on Bryce trying to get to hell and then back to Midgard to save poor Rune. And uh, I, oh my god, Lucian and um, Vasa? I don't know, God. Crown, face of a crown. Can he love the face of a crown? <laughs> That's the ultimate test. Ew, hey, Lucian, oh, lady. Don't you want Yuck. to? You don't want to kiss baby Elaine. You want to kiss me <gasps> instead. Ew. Oh, oh! I need your help, Lucian, to bathe me. I imagine she's also a little bit Russian, right? Well, all of the uh, names are Russian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, man. Okay. And also, we don't know where Lucian's bit. And he's been trying. We, don't, we also don't know where Moore's been, mostly. She's no, been we gone. Don't. Um, but I. 
I mean, okay, Lauren says, I'm still team Elaine Lucian. She needs someone who won't coddle her. But did you read the bonus chapter yeah, I'm way with more, Asriel? I'm as and Gwen all the way. As yeah, and Gwen. as and Gwen. Oh, for sure. But is Elaine going to be with Lucian? I... Uh, it's hard, I mean, I could, I could really see it go both ways. And it's just really interesting what she, to see what she's gonna do with it. Because I, I think that it, it's very open right now. It's open-ended. Oh yeah. I know Lucky Mickey Ears just says, I just want Lucian to be happy. I know, poor Lucian. He's really been through a lot. Yeah, he has been through a lot and I will kiss him. He's never even asked me. Maybe I'll you should it. ask him. Lucian, do you want to kiss another baby angel, full-grown man? Are you being Hunt? I'm a, I'm a little bit of Hunt and I'm a little bit Jackie. <laughs> I guess it makes me cunt. <laughs> it makes you... Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, I think it makes you jaunt. Whoa, Kellatricity says, don't hate me, but I'm still hoping for Bryce and Asriel. You know what? I'm, I don't hate you, Kellatricity, because I, I'm not going to say I hate another because I appreciate the theory. I got a theory in, but I will say, to protect the person that wrote in, they also hated the theory as much as I hate the theory. Wait, wait, Bryce and who as? Well, this is this is separate. This is another theory that I also hate as much You're as I hate Hunt? Bryce and Azrael. Hunt is already being tortured porn to death. According to Aaron, what if Hunt, this is also, this is a big theory on the internet. What if Hunt killed Danica? No, what? Micah killed Danica. It is Danica. beyond crazy to think that Micah, who used the Umber Mortis as his personal assassin, decided I'm to take it into you. his own hands and kill Danica and the Pack of Devils by himself. Imagine how many kills he took off of Hunt's total after he knew the personal connection that Hunt had with Bryce. I don't know why he wouldn't just throw Hunt under the bus when Micah had to stand off with Bryce, but I wouldn't be surprised if SAM spun this somehow just to break poor Bryce's heart. No, absolutely not. Just saying. No, 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 no. It's a big one. Laura says, yeah, this is a big one online. This is a, this is a big theory online. No. That, but then, because we know what happened with the, with the, uh, uh, the synth. He was lying about the synth, oh, right? Oh, don't get me started. That, man, when I read that the first time, I was reading well into the night, and when that scene happened, I had to put the book down because I was so upset. I was, I was so, upset. so upset. I, I also felt like I had been betrayed. Yeah. E2? E2, Hunt? I know. But J.H. Mira says Hunt's never done anything wrong ever, except for when he lied about the Zinth. And he, but he was doing things to help. Well, he was like, I was going to stop it, but he had been lying to her. He had been lying, but I'm, I'm is sorry. all I'm saying. Killing, killing Danica is a bridge too far. It was before he knew Bryce. It's a bridge too far. But when you are the personal assassin for an archangel... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta fucking do. How are they? How would they ever? So you're saying then that, that would break their bond, their maidhood, and then because like how is she ever gonna get over that? She never would. Oh, oh, Hans in the cups. Hans in the cups. I do also wonder if that would make more sense if they were going to break the matehood between the two of them, or if something happens to Hunt and then she ends up kissing Azrael. I'm not gonna be sad about it. But if but oh, the problem with all of this is we don't know who's related to who. How do they know? Well, I guess they're gonna find out the hard way. Uh, uh oh, is your mommy my mommy? <laughs> That's how are they what you're gonna find, find out? out. How are they gonna find out? I hopefully not while one is inside of the other, or their you know fingers are in there, or just folds, slap and folds. I don't know. Or when the baby comes out with like sixteen toes. Don't on each bring foot. up Nick's right now. <gasps> Why? I don't know, because Lord knows what's going to happen with Nyx. I think he's fine. Do you? <laughs> yeah. What's going to happen, though? But what's going to happen, Natalie? Is there a connection between Hell and the Hewn City? This comes in from mm. Beth and Aaron. Mm. The well, biggest one in her mind is the potential connection between Hell and Prithian, specifically the Hewn City. Here mentions Lord Thanatos needing help with his daughter to the... Uh, to the Ooh, I don't know what that means. In Akawar. Thanatos is the name of the prince of the ravine that Bryce, Ethan, and Therian encounter while visiting the mystics. Oh. It has been said that SJM does not like to reuse names. This has to be some sort of connection. This theory originates from TikTok user at Shannon Taylor, who also theorizes that Fury could be Thanatos' daughter. 
This may be a reach. However, we do believe that Fury could potentially be an agent of hell, maybe sent by Adis. Oh, Fury. She was supposed to be on a secret mission undercover at the university when she originally met Bryce. Yeah, she's very mysterious. Was the mission to connect with Bryce? Another connection between Hell mm. and the Hewn City is the statues throughout, depicting creatures that are similar to the pets associated with the Prince of Hell. That's These true, because remember Nesta saw those same creatures and when she was in Lanthus's fantasy. Yes. These are similar to the ones Bryce and Hunt fight in the Bone Quarter and the one that ripped out Ethan's throat. This all connects back to the Great Hunt mentioned in A Court of Silver Flames where the Daglin, aka mm -hmm. the Asteri, also had these beasts. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I had like six thoughts while you were saying that, but the names go so fast and I'm like, yeah, yeah, uh, and then it's just gone again. I had so many, like, I had so many different things to say about all of that. Oh, whoa, happy cryptid. Once Feyre and Reese go to the Lunathian, their bargain to leave this world together will be fulfilled. Can don't we even talk get about me started. how dumb that was? I'm so mad about the bargain. Every time I think about the bargain, I'm just like, Think about other people. Are think you about 12? your child. Think, but that also, though, would make sense because then they are leaving the world together and then bargain's done. Maybe we don't have to fucking die just because if one dies, then the other has to die. Get fucked. Yes, Legal Queen loves sick fools. Here, get, don't get me wrong. I am a young puppy in love as well. And I would do anything so for my partner. So you'll agree to die at the same time? No! I would never wow. agree to die if he died. Heard it here first. Yes, Lucky Mickey here's most emo bargain ever. It is very Romeo plus Juliet, okay? Like, what are we doing but here, maybe guys? that is, they always talk about how bargains need to be very, very specifically worded. But the so, loopholes, like, but everyone's bringing up, but there's got, but there are loopholes. We gotta have loopholes. Gotta have loopholes. We do. Um, I also, uh, another part of the hewn city and hell mm -hmm. crossover, this comes in from Alex. On the part of A Court of Mist and Fury, when they go to the Hewn City to get the Veritas, it's mentioned offhandedly at the end that Kier cringes away from the truth teller and Az. Mm -hmm. Feyre assumes that it's because he thinks one day Az will kill him with it. But what if that's not the reason? What is his aversion to the made object? I'm suspicious that it's some bit of foreshadowing we don't know yet. Wait, I'm, say that one again, the end part. He specifically that, um, he, that Feyre assumes it's because he thinks that, that Kier thinks that Asriel and Truth Teller will kill him someday. But what if okay. that's not the reason? He has an aversion to the made object got specifically. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Why does he have the aversion to it? Because he's a turd? Could be. It could be turd, turd situation. It could be like a dookie party that he's attending. He's a real turd. And he's all made of dookies and he doesn't know what to do. I think he is made of poop. Yeah. But is Thur made of poop? We do need to talk about Thur. Not Thor. Not <laughs> Thor, everyone. We need to talk about Thur. Yeah, you might think he has a lot to do with Thor. And you're probably right. But according to us, we don't know that yet. And I think it is obvious at this point that, that Thur that is Hunt's father. Ah, uh, yes. I knew what you were going to say. I think it's obvious at this point, Natalie. <laughs> um, I think everybody knows that everybody knows that there is uh -huh. Hunt's daddy. Uh -huh. um, man, that's so many theories. I'm I trying have, to wrap my so mind around theory. them. You don't even understand how many more theories I've got. Well, we have we have about ten minutes left. What what else would would you like to bring up as far as theories? Well, go? we need to talk about. I, I think that like Thur's daddy, because like we did find out in uh, in the last Akatar that he was bred. That he was created. Third. He, like, no, that Hunt specifically last said Akatar? that he, or no, it was in Last Crescent City. That Hunt okay, was yes. Yes, yes, yes. created. Like, he said he was bred yes. to be this way. So, why was he bred to be this way? Well, I mean, they, bre they breed a lot of the angels to do tasks and stuff. Right. I mean, they, they specifically talk about how, I think that was Lydia in the beginning of the prologue saying, like, all of the angels are bred to do things for the Asteri. Right. For different things. Yeah. But who knows if he's the child of Thur. The child the of child Thur. The child of Thur. I mean, woo! Now we talked about Jessica and we talked about Hunt. 
who's Hunt's father, the god of Thur. Also the statue that Bryce sees in the gallery called the Making of the Sword. Oh, that, yeah. Um, the epilogue would suggest that Hunt's father is also connected with Hell as well as Jessica. We also know that Hunt is bred according to the Prince of the Pit. It was the Prince of the Pit who said it, that uh, he was bred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that is why it's also talk... And and Mordock says that the that Hunt doesn't smell like any other angel he's ever scented. So there are theories that he might be Fae and not Angel or or an Illyrian. Or and he not, has IBS. Yeah, maybe he's just shitting himself. I mean, maybe that's what they gotta like just dance around and this shit. And she's like, I still love you, Hunt, even though like you're covered in your own dookies. <laughs> I'm at the, I'm at the, the almost two hours up, or I'm just making poop jokes. I get it. I mean, I understand. There's also, there are many theories, and, all right, let's talk about Fury Axtar. From Jordan, Axtar translates to star or constellation. Axtar? Yes. In which? Is, I don't know. Is Fury Axtar somehow part of the Asteri? <gasps> something's up with Fury. Oh, yeah, no. We know something's going on with Fury. I was going to bring that up. They, they... They are, they, SJM is very, very vague about Fury all the time. And Bryce is very not curious. She's always just going like, she could be working for anybody and killing anybody. I don't know. I'm not bringing it up. But if she's supposed to have gone to university with them, how could she be so established and so mysterious? Maybe she was placed there to get to know them. Man, everyone, all of Bryce's friends just lie about everything because she's, she's not so, like the other girls. She's obviously Danica loved Bryce and really did cherish their friendship, but she lied and lied to Bryce. Danica's a big, but she did it to protect protect her. But Bryce, who? who but Bryce now she's protected by nobody. Bryce doesn't know anybody. Everybody's making shit up all the time. Yeah. Now, wait, Shula says, can we please talk about the golden lady on the cover of the book? Who is she? Oh, we didn't even get to the covers, man. We had so much to talk about on the covers, too, because... I have so, I have so many more theories. We could do this show for another, like, four hours. Oh, yeah, hours. totally. Uh, the, the covers have a lot of hidden stuff in them, and that's already discussed widely on the internet, so yes. probably none of you are, like, super unfamiliar with it. So here's, a, here's the three covers, and they... Are by the same artist, obviously, and I don't know if they intended to do all of this from the first cover, but people were immediately starting to read into all of these different symbols in the first book, hardback cover, and and so that kept happening more and more in these next two books. And um, I actually, I don't think I gave you the file. I actually circled all of these. Hang on, let me pull this up real quick while we have time. So I I um, made a a file of. Uh, let me pull it up. Where is it? I know, but just Kayla, I do love the art for these covers. And they are just so beautiful. And also, to remind you, House of Flame and Shadow includes Daemonaki, Reapers, Vampires, Draki, Dragons, Wraiths, Necromences, and many wicked and unnamed things that ever Erd herself cannot see. Now, I do wonder, Necromance, is it possible that we've got like a Hypaxia on the cover? If we're talking about a necromance. I mean, I don't know. That I guess that's a I thought that was Bryce again, but I guess maybe not. Okay, so I made a couple little silly notes on these. Um, at the beginning in the first one, we have these very specific um, first off, we have a snake uh, sort of montage on all of these books so far. Yes. But I've also heard that this artist loves snakes, so I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. But we I have. Mean, I also love snakes. We have in the, on the first cover. This is Bryce. I think that's pretty accepted as a. That's that's Bryce on the cover. I I, ass- I just I never looked into this. I just assumed it was Bryce and then Hunt. I've never looked yeah. into the covers. Um, it, it, I'm pretty sure that's just accepted widely. Um, so. This first cover, we have the keyhole, which was where her star will end up being. <laughs> yeah, it's what I call my pussy. <laughs> you call it your chest? My, your yeah, chest my hole? my keyhole. Your keyhole? My keyhole. I said, you got the right one. Key. Mmm, penis. To fit. Penis gets in there? Yeah. Or fingies. Do you twist you it around like you would in a key? Yeah, yeah. And then, like, my whole body unlocks, and I go like, ah! Ah, ah. your guts fall out. Yeah, that sounds oh my guts terrible. Fall out. I don't know. It's cute though. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. 
So we have this column behind uh, Bryce here, and it looks like sort of maybe representing her world is falling apart, her uh, also Midgard's kind of collapsing. There's yeah. a lot of discord. We have this raven, and it has a star on it, much like Bryce will have on her chest. Interesting. See that here. Um, yeah, so we have just these little things. There's more. I'm, this is not an exhaustive list. Everybody's going to be writing in and tell, telling me the things that I'm not pointing out. But then we go over to... I think everyone understands, too, that there's a lot. We There's so much we haven't touched on. No. No, there's so much. I didn't cover a lot of what we were going to talk about. Um, so on the second book cover, we have uh, Hunt. And also in... The, Someone the, also said, is it Rune? But I feel like we'd see no, more the, cats. You see that? He's got the wings, if you see that. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice the wings. It's definitely Bryce. I mean, uh, it's definitely Hunt there. And also both of oh, them... according to the internet, the third one's Nesta, by the way. Oh, that's Nesta? That's a, that's the word on the internet. Oh, but that's just a theory, right? Yeah, it's a theory. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we don't, we don't actually know yet. No, we don't know. know. We don't know. We're going to know in six minutes. We, except we're not because we all have so much book to read. It's such a big book. It's a big, thick one. Yeah. Um, so on the second cover, we have Hunt. And you see, like, little things worked in. You see the wolves here at the top that are kind of coming out of the, the wings. We have Crescent's, uh, re the little representations. There's one on his chest. Yeah. We have a little, this is always a fun, Jelly Jubilee is on his chest. Oh, my God. We have another. We I'm have, Jackie Jubilee. You are Jackie Jubilee. Right on his nip. Um, we have the snake again. Now it's up in his hand. Okay. And again, we have this column that is continuing to sort of fall apart behind him. Um, and also, we have a sword right here on his chest. Sick. Yeah. And then we go over to this new cover. We have multiple swords, which is, again, probably going to play yeah, into the which story. Which makes sense also if it was Nesta. We also have a bullet down here. Can I just, yeah. Whoa, see so she's going to get into guns. I believe that's a bullet. That's Whoa. what I see. Whoa. But she already is, you know, like she's, I mean, she's Bryce like is already. In. Yeah, Bryce is a gun expert, remember? Because her, her stepfather taught her how to use all the weapons. Oh, I was thinking of Nesta. Oh, Nesta. I don't want Nesta out of a gun. I, I know, that's why I was like, I hope Nesta doesn't have a gun. Don't give her a gun. But we have, we, so we have the bullet here. We have this blade, and it appears to be another blade up here. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. But I'm also just spitballing. I love this. Um, we have the crescent again on her throat. We have another Jelly Jubilee over here. I mean, you gotta Look represent. You gots to represent. So cute. Then we have... What people have all been noting to most likely be representations of all of the houses of Prithian. Ooh, okay. So look, this is 100% Valaris. Like, that's Valaris. Oh my god, yes! And then this is essentially supposed to be the different houses. <gasps> so, you know, that is... I think that's, like, this would be Summer Court when the here. genuine, like, I'm genuinely, sadly, very excited about it. <laughs> this is Spring Court, I think. Um, so, you know, that's uh, that's some goss on the internet, but I don't okay. think that's been described. Also, another thing, um, each of these covers, their eyes are two different. So on this one, she has a um, black, uh, what's this part called around the pupil? Iris? No, what's the white part called? Sclera. Oh, Sclera? Sclera? That would have never come Whoa. out of my mind. So on this first one, she has a black Sclera. And a white one. And then on the second one, it's two different colored eyes. Oh, Baby Milf says the black blood tears. Yes. And so on this one, you see that she has another black sclera. So Wait, she's crying. what's the black blood tears? I don't know. Oh, that might be it. That might be it. No. What are you telling me? Nothing. Oh, my God. Nothing. I don't know anything. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm just trying to read all the, the theories. All right, we got two minutes. We got, we got two minutes. We got all two right. minutes, guys. What, last last thoughts before we go in? Oh, I've got so much to say. You got two minutes. All right, all right, we've got two minutes. Um, we didn't even, I can't, I'm screaming. I can't believe we didn't talk about the dust court at all. The dust court, we, which does not exist in the world of Akatar, is it the lost court that is lost that ended up getting brought to and trapped in Lunathian, or in, in, the, in, the, in Midgard, excuse me. Um, and is that the Dust Court? Because then we've got all, I've got so much about the Dust Court. Well, it's too late. So, 
We only have a minute left. Uh, I, Get all out. Say as fast as you can. I've got nothing. I've got everything and I've got nothing. We've got to just, I got to just stop. I, we just have to stop. Because we've got a minute left, and um, it, I have to stop. I, I cannot continue. I hope... Too many thoughts. I have too many things to say. I have too many things to say. Um, and yes, Amber says, we can never talk about it again. I know that we're going to be talking about it probably in everything that I'm doing over the next uh, three weeks. So I'm going to apologize, but also not nah, apologize to you guys because you guys would be fucking fine with it. I ain't sorry. So, thank you. Thank you guys for spending this two hours with us on the on the countdown. Yeah, this has been so exciting and I Should really... I see if it's available in my Kindle as it... Oh, oh subs! Oh, oh, we it's gotta say, oh, subs. Thank you. We got so many new subs thank tonight, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for subbing and I want to read out, send out some shout outs to the people that subbed tonight. Thanks. Ten. 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 Oh no! Ten. I'm Absolutus, Ten. the Raven Ten. Queen, only watches, Hurricane Ten. Emily, Katie DeSecco, TMB476, Cuddy McGill, Pippa No, Catherine Jones, Slime Gang, Hail Storm, Kind of Emma, X Magus, Dr. Jimmins, Momo Canoe, thank you so much. Get the fuck out of here. Go read. Come back. Though, because LPN TV is going to be doing lots of fun things, and uh, we love you guys so much. Have a great time reading. Mazel, mazel to us all. We made it. I'm, re I'm refreshing my Kindle. I'm waiting for it to show up. Light it up, bitches. Light it fucking up. It's not Go. in there, Natalie. It's not in there. There's a lot of really weird spun-related books mixed with the Erotica. All erotica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to look at my Kindle. No! I'm not sharing it with anyone. Guys, it's going to be anticlimactic. I don't know if it's coming. It might not be coming. It might not be. I mean. Get it... on. A, we got to get on a flight to New York right now. Ah, do I have to wait until tomorrow? No. You think you're better than me just because you're over there? Oh, and I'm over here? Everyone in the Eastern Standard Time, enjoy it. We'll be there soon. We're going to be there so soon. Mine's not coming. Everybody gets the same time, I think. Does everybody get it's it? It's not showing up. Let's do another three hours. Another three oh. hours. We could. I've got the theories for it. I got to order pizza or something. Got it. Yeah, we should probably eat since we've been drinking wine now. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Enjoy the read. And uh, we'll be back with Akatar this week. Don't you worry. Come and on. Uh, love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Where's my book? Natalie's now obsessing. And I will be too in just a minute.